If you want news and rumors that appeal, welcome to the dust. Hey, welcome back to the Dusty Wheel. I'm your host, The Innkeeper, and this is our live call and talk show all about the Wheel of Time. And tonight, it's about Winter's Heart. Yes, we're continuing our series, breaking down new reader reactions to another Wheel of Time book with our favorite, Danny and Brett from the Wheel of podcast. But before we begin, I'll, let, I'll introduce them shortly. Just remember tonight, no spoilers. And this includes in chat, no spoilers past Winter's Heart. That's right, if you can remember what happened in Winter's Heart. So if you can't, be a little bit careful, please, in chat while you're watching this so others can go back and watch this. We've done this now, what is this, book nine. So we'll have done this nine times and going through each one of these books, and we want to do it this way so when new people come and watch these, they can also see the fun in chat. So please don't even, like, uh, pretend that you're spoiling something. Again, the mods will likely... <laughs> remind you of this and then kick you out if you can't follow the rules. So that being said, uh, why don't we welcome my wonderful guest to the show tonight? Welcome, Danny and Brett. How are you guys doing? Hey, Hi, good. Yeah. Good. We're doing so good. We're so well, excited to be here. Yeah, it's it's awesome to have you back. It's awesome to have you back. It's awesome to be back, right? I, I've been doing about, I want to say, two shows a month uh, just recently, just from a time commitment standpoint. So it's always fun to sit down here, as I told you before the show started, it's a little nerve wracking still after almost four <laughs> years of doing live streams. I like start like shaking my hands out, getting a drink of water, you know, like I will do now because you get a little parched. Absolutely. Yeah. So, I was going to say I'm super nervous. I'm always nervous to go live because what we do <laughs> is recorded. And if it sounds bad, we can just stop. Just delete it. And yeah. just delete it. And no one ever has to know. <laughs> By the way, uh, my fellow Inky Baranas has honestly a better background at this point um his studio version of the dusty wheel i i'm very jealous of so um someday i'll get my bookshelf back <laughs> and we'll get some stuff on the walls but i love i love watching uh his uh his dusty wheel shows uh just because it's fun seeing him embed in this so yeah shout out <laughs> to my fellow innkeeper and oh with that being said why don't I share a little bit? We're going to have a little bit of news here. Let me let me explain to everyone what's going to happen tonight. We're going to talk about some live streams that are coming up. We're going to share a little bit of season three news. And then we're going to jump into Winter's Heart. And Danny and Brett know this really well. We're going to go through seven different stages of this conversation. Phone lines will be open. We'll give away a mug at the very end. Stick around. There's a fun little thing we're going to share during Right and Wrong. Actually, two. Two little fun little things oh, during no. Right we and Wrong. Some, so. No, no. We have some props. <laughs> Okay, have, yeah. okay. Yeah, one one is a prop and one's a you know an image of it's good something that I'm fun. not filled in on this. Apparently I thought it was no. just like a surprise for both of us. No, it's not for me. <laughs> <laughs> so that being said, oh wait, by the way, Danny, Brett knows about the image that you sent me, right? 
Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Same page. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I just want to make sure, again, I'm like so wary of spoiling it. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah, no. okay, okay. Uh, we're all on the same nope, page. Here. We're all good. Okay. 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 Then why don't we, let me show you a little bit. Let me, I want to share kind of what's going on here at the Dusty Wheel, everyone. Uh, next week, yes, we have another deep dive because that's what we like to do around here at the Dusty Wheel. Deep dive into the Wheel of Time. And this is one of my favorite topics. It's going to be extremely geeky next week, everybody. We're going to be talking about the wolf dream and how it's the same or different than dreaming and dreamwalking, how those are either the same or different. Talents having to do with Teleron Riyad, talking about the wolves and uh, Perrin and others. This is going to be amazing. We'll have Wolf Brother and Silvertooth are going to be my guests. And we'll be giving away, it sounds like I saw a note, they want to give away a, a WatCon ticket. That's right. So be here next week at the same time to talk about the wolf dream and get a chance to uh, get to WatCon. So that one's going to be a blast, everyone. And then another deep dive. We haven't done one of these in a long time. Uh, we haven't done one of these character deep dives. But it's appropriate for a continuing aspect of digging into the show and the books themselves. So we're going to do a deep dive all about Ashamael. Yes, Ashamael, Wheel of Time character deep dive, everybody. So um, please show up in two weeks and we'll be talking about this character in depth, uh, basically going into the notes, going everywhere to see what we can figure out about him. So uh, hope you're there. Um, that being said, awesome. why, don't, are, uh, why don't we jump into, oh, by the way. <laughs> Um, I totally announced those without even thinking about potential spoilers, but I don't think I did any spoilers. <laughs> so, no, was, I think you're yeah, just yeah. Fun. Like, I, I didn't even like think about that. I don't think there was any spoilers there. So, we uh, do people know who Shamiel is at this point. <laughs> people, like, will, we're good. <laughs> people, people will like shout me out uh, or shout me down here. And then, this kind of fun piece of news I wanted to show you uh, and share. Uh, what a wonderful, I love this picture of, of Zoe. Well, Zoe was in, it was just called Viva. Um, and in this actual uh, uh, article, one of the quotes was that basically at the end of the month, um, she was going to start uh, working on season three, basically returning to Prague now for principal uh, filming. What does that mean, everybody? Uh, that's hard. What is it? Is, is like she going out there and there's like a month of prep? It is means she at some going point out? we're getting season two, right? That's what it happens. <laughs> no. We know we need no. season we're just skipping we're just skipping straight right. to season three that's uh that's what's <laughs> happening here so i want to know what your latest guesses are knowing that information and do you think danny when do you think uh, we're getting she season has a good, two she has a good thought yeah. process for this you shared it with me do you forget mm -hmm. when is season two happening tell us uh because the mrs mazel the mrs oh, mazel i thing did is, tweet yeah. about this yeah yeah so okay. amazon prime just announced that mrs mazel Okay. Like the Marvelous Mrs. Maisel is yeah. having its final season uh, premiering April 14th. Okay. And so I think we'll maybe get some information Wheel of Time related, maybe after that. Because that's like a after... pretty big okay. Wheel of, or um, Amazon Prime show. And it's gotcha. like the final season and they're probably pumping it up a little. And okay. it's March, right? It's like not even a month away and they just announced it. So is it all, is, you know, if it's released a meet, like, all the episodes released at once? Or are they releasing them one at a time? I, I think know. I think they do the three thing, didn't they? Because I'm pretty sure for With one Mrs. Maisel? Didn't they? I feel like they because we watched we watched yeah. it, but I don't remember it's all a blur now, so I have no idea. I feel like I there was a release. Released. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think okay, it's released, so, um one after the seriously? other. Not <laughs> yeah, so, binging, the opposite of that. Yeah. The opposite of binging. Regular, yeah, yeah. regular style. Regularly? Uh, serially? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, uh, I'm thinking sometime maybe during or after that and we probably won't have that long to wait once we find out i'm thinking okay so you think april time frame some people think uh june uh i'm i'm starting to lean into i love this idea of august just because of august fail, the, 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 the august fail of last year i love the idea that it premieres in august or at least a uh, you know at, at the very least a trailer by august that better that better be the case so oh um, i certainly hope so at yes. that point You're killing like, me killing me come on like two yeah. full years between seasons <laughs> that would be uh, it's very wheel of time ish like i gotta actually, say that's like pretty on point pretty on brand yeah <laughs> uh th there's another fun little thing that happened in twitter of time which i want to share before we move on here um I don't know if you've, uh, are you familiar with who this is? Uh, let me like uh, post this up. This this actor, um, obviously, I think it's pronounced Shorey Agdashlu. Uh, 
Uh, she's been in The Expanse. She's been in lots of things. I just, I've seen her from The Expanse, and she's amazing in it. And a lot of fans, um, I think it was last summer, two summers ago, I can't remember what it was, uh, but basically begged Rafe to have her play Cod Swain in, Ooh, in, okay. in The okay. Wheel of Time. Yeah. And, and so she's been like kind of going back and forth with fans forever. And, you know, we're all kind of hoping to see something. Well, uh, Lord Matt Cawthon said, please, please, please record yourself saying, fa, boy, you will break <laughs> yeah. uh, Twitter of time. And uh, so uh, let me, uh, she, she literally replied <laughs> to this thing here. So I'll, uh, I'll play this. Hopefully I can hear the audio here. So here we go. <laughs> Satisfying. <laughs> I love the the raspiness, the the satisfied part, and and and, it, and predictably, you know, um, lots of uh, fans really excited about this idea that maybe she's already she already is Scott Swain. That's fantastic. <laughs> what it, yeah. yeah, yeah. The the interaction itself, right, uh, yeah. is just That's always fun. It's just so it, it's a lot of fun that she's kind of digging into this whole fandom aspect of wanting her to be part of the show. Whether or not she is, um, we will. We will have to find out, but I love, I love the uh, the cloak too. So yeah, and so. you know what? Excellent segue into Winter's Park. Oh, that's <laughs> great. yeah. Like I'm so angry that I think I like Catswing. I just, yeah. I just like, how dare you, Robert Jordan, make me kind of like Catswing? So that's annoying. <laughs> By the way, it looks like uh, it was. I'm getting some. Uh, People have said that it was last year. Yes, Winter's Winter's Lady. It was a year ago, Innkeeper. It's only been a year. Oh, my gosh. It seems like so much longer back then. Anyways. Okay, so that was like the big news. Uh, the live stream is coming up. It's kind of fun. It, let's let's dive into Winter's Heart, everybody. Let's get into it. And, yes, our first segment. Do you remember what our first segment is, Brett? What's our first segment? Well, this is really funny because last time or this time, Danny was kind of giving me crap because I've tried to prepare for your segments and I keep <laughs> missing one or two every time. <laughs> yeah. And I'm pretty sure that we're starting with Rate It. Uh, that would be correct. Yes. Rate there It, we everybody. We, we started off. This is that fun Wheel of Time tradition where we find out how a new reader rates the Wheel of Time books as Danny is going through. And we also kind of talk about our own ratings. And that is leads us to the first question I asked here uh, to all of us. So let me go to that. Let me go to the poll here before you tell me. Yeah, go to the is poll. Winter's Heart in your top four Wheel of Time books? That's right. I asked, asked a yes or no question. I gave you four options. That's how we roll here at the Dusty Wheel. Uh, the first option was top one to four, middle five to eight, middle nine to 12, bottom 13 to 15. Brett, without looking at the poll answers, I don't know if you saw them. What do you think people are going to say? Ooh. So what are what fans I, with these, these freaks that I are in chat? What are they saying? Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're going to say the 9 to 12, whatever you said. Well, like 9 to 12? Half? Yeah, okay. I, I think okay. that's what they're going to say. I personally oh. put it in 5 to 8. Okay. What do you, where, now, Danny, here it is. Rate it for us. Winter's okay. Heart, you're nine books in. Where does this book end up for you? Okay. So to be fair... I've only read nine books. True. Yes. So, yes. So halfway yes. for me is. I, I recognize. <laughs> yes. Now I've recognized <laughs> crappy, <laughs> terrible poll, terrible poll. I blame the guy that started the poll. So yes, knowing. Uh, yeah. Where does where does this lie in the top in the in the nine for you? Okay. So I'm going back and forth a little bit because I think that it's in my top four. Okay. I think it's either in like third or fourth place. Without Ooh. actually saying what like second or third is, because I know I Fires say, of Heaven is. Fires of Heaven is my yeah. number yeah. one. Walk us, maybe walk us through really quick. If you, I mean, I don't want you to have to. Get, we don't have to sit in this for you know twenty minutes okay. or anything, but like, yeah, give us your like walk us through how you get there. Okay, Fires of Heaven is number one. I don't know wow. why I liked yeah. it so much. Probably because parents not in it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, you know, how I... There's a lot of good things that happen in Fires. Oh of my heaven. gosh, there are so many good things that happen, and I'm like really emotionally connected to it. For some, I'm not quite sure, but I love Fires of Heaven. And then I would probably put Dragon Reborn and then Shadow Rising and then probably Winter's Heart. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. That is, it's so weird because again, we've read them all. So yeah, it's hard to know. Yeah. I, I can't remember ending. where I would have, I, actually, I, yeah. I can't remember where I would have, would have rated this at the time. I just... It's hard. I can't. I can't, I can't I go back that far. I, it's I impossible. <laughs> so no, that's that's cool. And what I love about this is that you, you really, you guys are taking this so slow. 
you are dissecting it, you yeah. are anticipating things, you're writing the stuff down. Yeah. So how you are experiencing this and why it's your favorite or not, it's gonna be so different than basically how everyone else has ever read these books. So, yeah, that's really and so, so that's why we like to dig in here. So uh, let's let's do it. The answer, by the way, of the, of the 15 total books oh, yeah. in the series, 37% said five to eight. So yeah. not totally shocking like if you think about your rating, you know, depending on how the final books go, Right. This this one could end up in that five to rate five to eight section too. So mm -hmm. um, okay, yeah. and it, uh, by it the matters what you value in a book that yeah. you're reading. And for me, I really love when I can't really predict things. Okay. I really like when things are unpredictable and when things are really interesting and they're like super page turner and mm -hmm. kind of like mystery esque. That's like my favorite type of book to read. And so. Sure the books that stand out most to me so far in this series are the ones that do that for me. And this, especially the ending really bumped it up in the ratings really, really high. Yeah. I was going to say like two kind of critical plot points, one being the fantastic ending to winter's heart. It's like, you know, it's, we can say it. Yeah. It's I mean, can we, are we allowed to? Yeah, Wait, it's the winter, it's the oh yeah. Wow. I mean, you're jumping ahead, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> but why it's rated so high? Yeah. Because of that, but also yeah. because it's the return of our favorite boy. He's back. It's Matt. Yeah. I know that's the Matt, not like you're okay, but like yeah, not. you're. I mean, I I took it personally and I mean, not yeah, personally. Have yeah, you considered yeah. getting a hat? Because uh, <laughs> I should, I should figure that out. Although I've tried hats like that, this just doesn't look good on me. Not for you. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Uh, by, by the way, yes, uh, me and my skirt and I said, "What did you say about Perrin?" <laughs> I know the Perrin people. If you don't know by this point, the Perrin people. Perrin people come I, out for Perrin, and I get it. I get it. Yeah. If that's you know kind of what you go for in a fantasy yeah. character. Yeah, again, uh, everyone's going to have their favorites. Some people don't understand my appreciation for Lanfear. I get it. I do. I get it. I get it. But, <laughs> but some people don't. Some people don't, and they will never understand it. Okay, so moving on from ratings, uh, Brett, I'm going to put you on the spot again. Do you remember what's next? Right and wrong. There we go, everybody. Yeah, no. Yes, that is it's what we work. have. <laughs> that is what we have coming up. Um, what is right and wrong? If uh, Oh, I put the wrong, I put the wrong uh, <laughs> banner up. There we go. Right and wrong. This is a segment where we have fun walking through what Danny got right and wrong. That's right. We talk about predictions, things that Danny believes are coming up in the book. And then we go through these and we have a lot of fun. So, yeah, let's let's jump into right and wrong. And do you want us to list? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Do you have three hours here? Like, how long do we have? Look, for this episode because we always we always tell people an hour and a half, but these tend to go towards two. So uh, yeah. let's see how we do. Let's see how we do like right or wrong. <laughs> There's some here, right? Predicting the or, sorry, predicting the weaves is a long segment too. But keeping cut for TV, you know, those are always a little bit close. So yeah. Um, okay. This is our. Do you want to share why this is such a big deal? Do you want to share the prop that you have sure. with our with our viewers? And uh, yeah. yeah, are we doing that okay. right now? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you want to? Well, first, can you hand me those cards there? So this was this was what I did for the last chapter of okay. um, this is my chapter nine Ooh, nice. <laughs> or my chapter 35 of like. And so it's um, I had cue cards for it was the most organized she's ever been for it's any like chapter. Every, um, <laughs> every point of view gets it. Oh, my gosh. Um, That's so and good. It, and it gets like highlighted. And then I even have like maps of like people anyway. So there were lots of interesting reveals and now i know you made me big on the screen here because <laughs> we had a we had a prop called the prediction board we got a physical prediction board love it and at the bottom during our recording all of the predictions that get revealed <laughs> in the last chapter went on the bottom and as we revealed them they got put in the right or the wrong column <laughs> That's that well went. okay so well we walk us walk, walk us through walk this let's sides. do this oh my gosh this is so good so walk us through what was right what danny what you were right and wrong about I, I now i'm realizing i'm looking at this board and i'm like this is why you loved this book is finally had some like How answers right, I get right? <laughs> <laughs> okay go do you want to start with the wrong or do you want to start with the right Oh, well, but maybe like a little of both, maybe a little back and forth. There were some things that really hurt. At one point, I threw the book while I was reading it. I was really mad. Um, <laughs> it, was, it was a little bit of a roller coaster of emotions for me. Okay. And um, yeah, we could, well, I'll tell you why. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. probably my favorite thing that I got right in this book was 
in the first book, I predicted that the Tate will be cleansed. Yeah. I didn't use those words. Can I put this down? Yeah, we can put it down. Okay. I'll virtually refer to it. Yeah. Okay. So I, yeah, I said that the Tate will be cleansed. I said, well, this is a problem. This is going to need to <laughs> Right, right, right. And so. And it, and it finally happened. Yeah, right. that was actually one of the most shocking things that I think she said at the very beginning of her podcast, because like from the I think the first book, like it was it was too early on that it was like startling that she even said that that was a possibility, because I remember like when I read through it, like I had no idea this was in the. <laughs> yeah, even... I was like, well, this is clearly yeah. the problem. <laughs> and I actually am surprised it uh, happened so early. Yeah, it yeah. actually because there's still a lot of books left. No comment. Um, yeah, but uh, but, <laughs> <Time for consequences. laughs> but what? What? So uh, so taint, the taint being cleansed. We're going to yeah. talk about that because we have Fine. other yeah. categories coming up that I want to hear you dig into. But um, okay, so taint being cleansed. Nice job. Congratulations. What else did you get right? I got right that there will be dark friend Asha men. Yep. Okay. <laughs> said, okay. This is going yep. to be a problem when we have all these guys gathering. Like any group of people, there's going to be, you know, a percentage <laughs> of dark friends. This is going to be an issue if we teach yep. them to channel. That's that's a problem. Right. So that's right. <laughs> and problematic at the same time. And oh, nice one. that returns in book nine. Okay. Yeah, that's a big okay. one. Of course. Yep. yep. I mean, it was going to be, if, if we were missing him, that would be. That would have been crazy. So yeah. um, that would have been crazy. Yeah. Well, Brett tried to convince me that he was dead under a wall. <laughs> no. I do remember that last. I remember the last show. We were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. who knows? Who knows what happens to him? Yeah. Well, and you don't we... know, and you don't know how bad he's going to be hurt. And I was actually a tripod little bit... guys. We know Matt can't die. Well, you you were just like you were. You didn't even care about his hip <laughs> problems plot, and plot armor. Yeah, you didn't really care. You do, you weren't feeling enough emotion about Matt's injuries. So no. by the way, uh, this is a like, this is a good reminder. Uh, Dana, thank you very much. Uh, for those of you that weren't here when the show began, we are in Winter's Heart in chat. No spoilers beyond Winter's Heart. No hints to spoilers beyond Winter's Heart. We want people to be able to come back and watch this and watch chat who are new readers. And up to this point, this is how we've done the series the entire time. If you're new here, just you'll have to get used to it. And uh, just apologize if someone has to delete something that you did forget uh, that you posted. Uh, but listen to your mods, everybody. Listen to your mods. Uh, sorry. Keep going. No worries. I was going to say, in line with the Matt return, she also predicted that we would get a Matt slash two on meetup. Well, finally. I didn't know what two, who two on was. Yeah. I, the daughter, daughter of nine, nine moons. moons. Yeah. We I didn't... did say we'd meet her. Yeah. Yeah. Because we've heard the name and then you did put together. Well, I predicted it for book eight. And it didn't happen. So then I just she predicted, predicted it again. again it's like you were right nine. this time. So <laughs> that's part of it, right? Yeah. Yep. That counts. That is part of it. That does count. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Now, Something I got right and kind of wrong at the same time, and this is like a long time ago prediction as well, was when we were introduced to the um, the Emmy step or the um, what are they? We know the name now, the Choden the Call. statues. Yeah. yeah, but I was calling them the Emmy the Academy Awards. <laughs> the Academy Awards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the ones where they hold the yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah, those I guys. Like and I said, ooh, because. Lanfear had the line that said we could use together we could defeat the dark one with these yeah and right. so i was like "Ooh, we're gonna use these to defeat the dark one but rand is gonna need nynaeve because nynaeve is like the you know strongest channeler at that point when we yeah met, when we found that out in like whatever it was book four or five okay yeah me, yeah yeah, somewhere around there. we got them at the end of book four, right? Yeah. So Do we have anyway, that on the, are those predictions? Well, anyways, we'll get to predictions. Yeah. And so, so that was like kind of right <laughs> because of the naive, <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah. you know, prediction. And then we didn't really use them to beat the dark one. We just used them. Foiled his plan. To foil him. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that was like, I, like I ripped it. In so that's kind of, yeah, that's. <clears throat> Um, yes. Oh, by the way, uh, people are mentioning that I have show contains spoilers up. I can take it down um, as far you as spoilers um, up it, to they're up. Yeah, it doesn't say up to. Um, so I will. Uh, <laughs> if uh, that will help confusing. people uh, realize that um, they are not allowed to spoil the show. So sometimes we put that up just so people know that they can. There will right. Be spoilers. So if like someone in book so, two jumps in. Right, 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 right. So I'll take that. I'll take that off just to, <laughs> just to make it. <clears throat> less of a less of a confusion so right so yeah i, I get you saying you got kind of a half one there okay what else did you get right yeah oh that a forsaken battle will end book nine 
Yeah, because well, you're yeah. lacking. I was just, I was yeah. just hopeful okay. because Book Eight yeah. didn't end in one, and I was like, maybe this will be cool. And then it right. was. Right. Oh, cool. I think that's an important one. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about that one. Mm-hmm. Lanfear slash Moraine not dying going through the doorway. Because, okay, explain, yeah. explain. Yeah, okay, I'll explain. So, <laughs> so okay, because this is a wrong and a right. Yeah. Because okay. I was guessing that a lot of people are Sindane. Like, I was like, anyone? <laughs> you're like, you're like anyone? Okay. I was like, <laughs> she said Asmodian at one point. She yeah. had good logic for it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think that's one that actually came up last book recap too. Mm, Asmodian. Yeah. So that's on the wrong side. Sindane is not Asmodian. But okay. then I also said Sindane is Lanfear because I also have a, you know, just anyone can be Lanfear in disguise. Mm-hmm. Who's to say? Okay. Who's to say? Okay. Who loves disguises. Yeah. So that was right. I think that that came out like for sure. That yeah. Is that a, was that, that's was confirmed. that Brett? That's confirmed. Yeah. Okay. That's confirmed that Sindane is Lanfear in the final chapter. She's like the scorned ex girlfriend. Yeah. RJ oh. slaps us in the face with it like twice in the last chapter just to stack on the other evidence. So it, yeah. it is, uh, it's confirmed Sindane is Lanfear. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I can, uh, I can smile now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then while we're in Sindane's perspective, she also thinks um, that she was held by the Aelfin and Aelfin. Oh. Okay. And so that's how I was like, ooh, they didn't die going through. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, at least okay. Lanfear didn't. And I'm still okay. totally convinced that Maureen's not dead either. Yeah. Just because I can't live in a world where she's dead. So if we can remember for the predictions for the next mm-hmm. books, it's like dot, dot, dot. Where, where is, is Maureen? Maureen? <laughs> gotcha. Okay. So I'm like, aha, this means yeah. Maureen also probably can escape somehow, maybe. But then some people are like, well, how does that work? Because if Sindane got transmigrated, then didn't she die? Yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, there's some holes in the in the thought process. But I also have to put one of the wrong column for Danny for last book is because she also mentioned offhandedly that Maureen's going to come back and then oh, wait, rescue no, Matt oh, yeah. <laughs> from Ebu Dar somehow. <laughs> so okay. That, okay. That did not happen. No. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, but, it's, it, but it's still it's still pretty solid as many of that board showed a lot of okay those are some yeah. big ones so what else did you get right um well yeah so the um oh i said okay well this one makes me actually really angry um this is this one makes me more angry than even the demandred and time reveal which i think we can probably save to the end but okay. um so it came as a huge slap in the face because you get the demandred time reveal and okay. then you get like a one pair page perspective or something. And then the next perspective is Deshiva and it's revealed immediately that he's Osengar. And I was so angry <laughs> that that's when I threw my book because I was just feeling so defeated because I didn't even think, I didn't even consider that Deshiva could be. Oh. Yeah, it is. I mean, it is a little annoying when, when you have something show up that you hadn't conceived of yet like, and you're oh. like. Yeah, I didn't even get a chance to like play with that idea, yeah. and now you've. Yeah, I think yeah. like for the record, the Deshiva has been like hiding, and he's Osengar is one of the funniest reveals <laughs> I think in the entire Wheel of Time. It made me so angry because I was so mad. Unless you're like looking for like on rereads, there's hints that Deshiva is not who he seems to be. Like it kind of fits the puzzle fits really well when you go back and reread it. Yeah, but in the moment, and I remember it like being in the moment it's you're hit with it and then immediately osengar gets like nuked off the hilltop by a black kaja <laughs> elza <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> who's like secretly a good guy but like secretly a bad guy who's like in the <laughs> in the defense for red it's such a fast reveal and then he's just gone he's dead yeah or is but, he well, yeah. no. this is what joe, joe perry <laughs> says when you go back and read uh Deshiva's first appearances it's very obvious yes. <laughs> like the the, yeah. the going back right it's yeah. it, this this is what I will say with Jordan with this right and wrong thing you're reminding me as I went through and kind of I was preparing what happened in each chapter and I was like oh Jordan it felt like this t- I do remember this from fandom's perspective it felt like he was just like okay I'm sick of hearing all these questions <laughs> and I'm going to like how about Give me some new questions. I want to hear some new questions. Uh, here's, here's like there's clear kind of here's some answers. And he was making it much more obvious, if not just kind of straight out saying it. Well, this because he's like, yeah, he was he was just getting the same questions, and he was like, move on. Yeah, that, that's how yeah. it felt, you know. Um, so yeah, that's yeah, that's it's such a fast reveal, especially because it's like Osinger thing, and like it sucks to be, pretend to be Deshiva. 
<laughs> and, <laughs> not a little bit more eloquent than that, yeah. but that's the, yeah, that's the basics. That's it. Yeah. yeah, that really is what that is, and that really annoyed me. I think because I'm usually like I pick up on stuff, and this one just went right over my head, and so that I don't like being like wrong. I like it's okay if I've sussed the whole thing out, and then it like doesn't yeah. pan mm-hmm. out. But when I it didn't even yeah like. Which yeah. was really funny too, because for the last couple of books, like since we saw Osengar pop up, it's been a question mark of like, okay, who is he reborn? We did put together this book that it is most likely Aganor, like that makes the most sense. Oh, but yeah. then the fact that we got Erengar, no, Osengar, oh, Osengar is Aganor, and then oh. Erengar, like we're not 100% <laughs> sure, but like as Halima, the funny thing with that is like Halima pops up immediately and is like, I'm Erengar. But then Osengar slides under the radar, is never yeah. really brought up. And I've been asking for like books now. I was like, yeah, where's that? Where's guy? Osengar? He's like, I don't know. <laughs> He's not showing up yeah, yet. Yeah, because <laughs> I was thinking Aganor and what's Halima's name? Erengar. Erengar. Yeah. I thought you were saying the same word. Yeah. And so I was confused. Yeah. By the way, I. Uh, uh, Robert, I, I agree. I honestly don't remember Dashiva. <laughs> That's the, <laughs> that is the truth. Like Jordan has so many characters and like, it's like who and what? And yeah. it like literally, if you're not like living and breathing it like yeah. yearly, you know, yeah. mm-hmm. and going back and theorizing about these things and you know, it's, it's hard to even remember. And this is, this is very true. Melissa KJ said, this is why we read and reread the series so many yeah. times. That's yeah. why That's, it's there all, it's all in there and it's so yep. interesting. And you know, I really am happy that I did get some wins after mm-hmm. that reveal because i was feeling like <laughs> i wanted to quit the book i was so mad and so it was nice to get some wins after yeah um including the um i predicted that varin was using her like rudimentary compulsion yeah okay. on the i said i <laughs> to get them to support rand that's why they all started like Plenty. yeah yeah and i like and i was like this is the only thing that made like what else could she be doing yeah it makes so, sense so that's and so that's nice that that came to fruition and i got to find that out mm-hmm. like kind of it's like smell. pretty it's pretty well like we can pretty much figure out that varen is doing her it's really funny because it's basically shitty compulsion it's like three different five <laughs> different compulsion weaves dressed Garbage, up in a trench coat trying to like <laughs> <laughs> compulsion <laughs> dressed up in a trench coat a little bit. Like, i love this one village mattress yeah. Village mattress said Deshiva is like a gray man. Yeah. I like that. And Innkeeper Anna said, uh, uh, Danny, you are all of us with the Osan, Osar, Osan Arangar. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. What else? Are yeah. we done with? Oh my gosh. That's a huge list of, of rights, mm-hmm. if you will. Um, do we want to, what do we want to jump to wrong or do we have, do, are we doing that now? You said to Okay. Me. Yeah, we can. Yeah, th- this is the right and wrong. This is the time to talk about that one, everybody. This one is, I mean, do you want me to show the image to everybody? Well, let's give a well, pretext. Let's, let's, okay. let's talk about it first. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about so it. So for a while, I think since the end of book six, yeah. I've been predicting that um, Taim is... Demandred. Demandred. That's yeah. Oh my gosh, all these yeah. names. So yes, I've been predicting that and... I've been really, really sticking to my guns. It made so much sense. I had all the points, everything that was happening. I was like, yes, this has to be it. Yeah. And we had a little bet going. Yes. That yeah. if I was right about dish or no, Demandred. Demandred being Taim, <laughs> then you would have to buy me an ice cream cake. Yeah, like a Dairy would, Queen good one. And it would have to yeah. say, <laughs> I was right about. Yeah. Oh. Demandred. Demandred. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's all the names. It's I'm all the let names. Yeah. So there is a bet. So that, and since the beginning, since about Lord of Chaos, because Lord of Chaos opened with the Demandred perspective and then it ended with the like the ha ha ha, did I do well? And the dark one laughs and whatever. And there's yep. been lots of points, and Rand was, you know, trying to maybe kill time from the beginning and maybe well, because that's of Luce LTT. Theron. and Luce yeah. Theron was like, there's ah, like a thousand it. little plot points. And yeah. I pushed back on it from the beginning because as much as it's a good theory, it doesn't, there's a couple things that don't quite line up. Maybe it's not perfect. So I said, no. And if, I'm right, and I'm sticking with the time is not Demandred. Then you have to buy me whiskey because it's a fair deal. Which is like pretty funny considering yeah. you knew the whole time. I mean, <laughs> pretty good. I think I played it pretty well for yeah, like you a, did. the year and a half. Well, and I just like <laughs> stick to my guns, right? So yeah, yeah. And you like to dig your heels in. So I actually didn't really know when this would come around. There was a around. moment yeah. 
there was a moment that like it almost was revealed and i was like no yeah maybe not though yeah yeah no and you kind of doubled down so what happened was on the cleansing episode uh we had one of our uh you know typical guests tyler he's been on a bunch of times one of our close friends um and i said hey there's a chance that Danny's gonna like put the pieces together in this chapter that Taim is in fact not Demandra. Like there's some pretty hard evidence in this chapter. I just don't know if she's going I'm to gonna like, concede. if she's gonna get <laughs> my deals in and we're like here for another couple of books. Like I have no idea. Right, right, so, right. That's yeah, that's a good point because you might not necessarily make the yeah, connections. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, possible, and I'm not yeah. gonna I'm not gonna force her to like you know concede or anything. That's that's not fun. And that's not what we're doing here. So I placed an order for an ice cream cake just in case uh, the week before and then had Tyler pick it up on his way over to our house. And then we hid it in the car and then and luckily in the freezer, it's winter here. And it's winter, so it can so stay it frozen. Can stay in the car. <laughs> yeah. And then finally, when we you know got to the point in the chapter when she said, yep, you know what? I'm conceding. I got to reveal the ice, ice cream, cream cake. cake, which is nice because yeah. I really I was so shocked because I really thought I wasn't going to get one because I was clearly wrong. Yeah, we yeah. get the idea that or we get it right in our face. We have Demandred walking through. He sees Damer Flynn, who's like yeah. one of the OG guys from the farm from the Black Tower. Yeah. And he's like, who's this old man? And yeah. I was like, ah. <laughs> and then he's like, oh, this must be one of those Asha men. I've heard of yeah. that. <laughs> like, oh, no. oh, there's no way this is Tame. Tame would for sure know Damer Flynn. Yeah. So that was like it for me. Yeah. So she and presented really the bottle sad. of whiskey to me, you know, because technically she's wrong. But then but also, let's show that ice cream cake. <laughs> I love this thing. This is also, so good. Also, Dairy Queen got the symbol wrong. <laughs> yeah, they did. So I already know it. Don't, <laughs> don't show. On. Don't show Any Lauren. True specific no instructions. one. No one tell Lauren about this cake. Uh, he will send you a new cake uh, with it fixed. <laughs> well, everybody. yeah. Brett even drew a picture. I drew a picture like, and was like, what? specifically, yeah. it needs to be this way. It's important. And, <laughs> and the teenager working at Dairy Queen for minimum wage did not care. <laughs> <laughs> and no, it's yeah, that's fair. That's so fair. Great. <laughs> like I get it. Yeah. So that is so that's right classic. About Taim, but or you were wrong about Taim, but also kind of right. Also kind of yeah. right. Yeah, that's great. That's so that's tell us why great. we were always kind of right. Yeah. So and I mean this is a maybe big thing. Matt has some information. Yeah, maybe you do. So we So I, I need to be out. careful about things that I say in this in this but yes you can go ahead you you you've been careful already i think talking about yeah. this yeah so. well i mean and this is a big thing so we actually did a re uh, winter's heart recap episode and on that and we, i kind of told her a little bit about why she's is wrong but sort of right too and we also had jason denzel come on too to give his point of view from dragon mount yeah. yeah to kind of give us an outline mm -hmm. of what he knows about the entire situation so she's yeah. technically wrong because time is not demon but i'm not the only one who ever thought that and that makes me feel better yeah <laughs> because there's hints in the notes that maybe in fact originally time was maybe. supposed to be demon allegedly i mean more yeah. than hints but yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay so uh but i want to show something uh, well oh, yes but ironically not so i want to show something so I, I asked this poll question, which I'm actually kind of a little bit shocked. Um, uh, about 80 of you and vote on this. Do you, did you believe that Taim was Demon Dread? And uh, only 57% said yes, and 43% said no. So the reason why I shouldn't be shocked, uh, this was a huge, huge, huge theory, but way, way back in the day. So um, I'm, I'm going to be careful about what I'm going to show you next here, <laughs> just because I don't want to ruin anything. But there's a section on the... There's a section on Theoryland website that I made way, way, way long ago that says theories submitted before Winter's Heart. And yeah. in them is, uh, I won't show you those because I want you to like lead you down any theory roads that you're not already going, <laughs> Danny, because there's, there's, pl there's lots of theories here. But this is a page called Is Taim Demundred? And so I'll show you that page. Um, uh, that This one had 33, 33 theories um, in it. Wow. That people, yeah. that people yes. like, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, validating. I'm like, what's funny is I'm like, kind of like quickly going through these because yeah. I'm like afraid that they're not all pre Winter's Heart. But anyways, this is to say um, it was a significant uh, theory topic. And uh, I definitely, I think if I remember correctly, I was in the, um, if like, I think I was in the, well, because Jordan said no. Mm-hmm. 
then I was in a different category of belief about Taim. But yeah. I believed he was until Robert Jordan said no. And then I was like, what? It's, tr it's, um, a, tricky, so. it's a tricky situation. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, uh, there you go. Um, that is a fun one. And it's fun to finally come to this end, <laughs> come to the yeah. end, if you will, uh, or an end here, right? You were yeah. wrong about Ta Taim, but also kind of right. And so. yeah, and, and everybody wins. Yeah. And that's really what I want is, you know, <laughs> just a world where everyone can have ice cream, cake, and whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, that's, that's awesome. We, by the way, right and wrong has turned into an extremely long side. <laughs> we haven't even gotten to wrong yet. <laughs> but we might, I know. This is like crazy amount of stuff. Okay. So um, wrong now. Are we Are we jumping now? Because we're kind of like mixed here. Are we jumping to wrong? Yeah. I mean, a little bit. There's a couple because we've, we, okay. we've mentioned okay, a few. So there's one specifically within the books that kept coming up because we haven't mm. talked about Elaine at all and her really boring um <laughs> trying to take her throne or something like that and so we're just trying to go along with her we're like okay and then she almost gets murdered and we're like whoa what's going on fantastic yeah. I turns love out this. Yeah. it's a very competent dark friend plot which is super interesting and i like it's, that it's a and competent dark friend plot which is good yeah it's like a crazy scheme and i gotta say like the david hanlon yes. crazy scheme is really funny it's yeah and so he gets put as captain of his her bodyguard yeah which is wild mm -hmm. and like i guess good for him because that's what he wanted bad yep. for elaine yep. this is really bad however i was like don't min and rand know this guy they like literally saw him in the forest outside of kyrian yeah with the whole fane dagger yeah he was thing. in the tent with uh fane and uh toram riotin and they know he's bad gotcha. yeah, bad guy yeah and, and Min so has the viewing, yeah. I was like, oh, what if like Min and Rand show up and they see him and it's a big thing. And then Min and Rand <laughs> show up <laughs> and then they don't yeah. see him. And then they And you're like, oh my, it's going to uh, happen. They're going to yeah. see him. They're going to be like, that guy's a bad guy. It's like they don't even cry. They were preoccupied for other reasons. But they don't even What? Like yeah. Oh, God. yeah well we'll get to that the <laughs> we have to yeah we haven't we have we have so many categories to go through so yeah uh, oh, okay also, okay one yeah, more yeah. wrong thing she okay. was totally wrong about oh, what galena is oh, not dead galena so she dead. so there's like this little sure. there's a little interaction like the previous book where Masana is talking to alviar and about galena and it's and like ah dead. she's dead and gone like whatever it, forget about her and then you picked up on that really hard and were like, like, oh, Galena died. She's gone. I just don't like Galena. So that's. The, yeah. I was like, cool. She's dead. And she now she's not dead. And she's just, in fact, you know, threatening Fael in this weird kidnapping Shido we plot. <laughs> so, right. Because it's good. Yeah. Right. Because that's also what's happening in Winter's Heart for Fael and Perrin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I can't wait to get talk about that one. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Like, what else? Yeah. Any anything else wrong oh, on your wrong board there? I mean, I think we covered most yeah, of the stuff. Yeah, that was pretty there. good. Yeah, yeah, I think that was okay. pretty thorough. Yeah, yeah that was okay. good. Okay, I'm going to ask this um, question uh, to our audience. Did you like the Wheel of Time? series better the second time through uh, i'm just kind of curious about, and i have yes no I only like read it. it once still reading it for the first time um, well i'm interested so. to see how many first time readers we have yeah exactly me too so while that while that one plays danny do you remember our next topic um uh, well, well, if what's Brett's our next notes topic? that he printed out for me are correct, <laughs> uh, nice. I would say new, notable, and shocking. Yes, new, notable, and shocking. Yes, new, notable, and shocking. What's interesting is you were right about so many things that yeah. these things are going to come up, but we can kind of talk about them. New yeah. things, notable things, and shocking things that you experience when reading Winter's Heart. And for this to be like your fourth top, you know, out of nine. So... Uh, yes. I'm really excited to hear. Yeah. What did you find new, notable, and shocking in Winter's Heart? Sure. So what's new is that Matt's back. Okay. Yeah. A book and a half. But what's not yeah. new is that he's still in his sort of Thailand situation. And that's not good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but he has a new best friend. No. Okay, explain. <laughs> I hate this character so much. I, I think what you're talking about, calling, go on. Brett keeps calling Noel Charin. Is that his name? Yeah. He's just calling him Matt's best friend. And I'm just, <laughs> okay, so He's Noel saves most... Matt from the Golam. 
He saves him, saves his life. And then Matt buddies up Too with him. convenient. It's almost like a David Hanlon situation where it's like, mm. oh, we're saving you. Aren't we good? Mm-mm. Yeah. Don't okay. fool me once. So they buddy yeah. up and then he invites <laughs> Noel to come hang out with his uh, you know, soldiers in the palace. It's all buddy, buddy. And then when Matt goes to escape, Abu Dar, he conveniently forgets to tell Noel that, hey, we're all leaving. That's but like Noel's good, bunking with just, the soldiers. Just good instinct. Don't yeah. <laughs> and that then <laughs> top of the suspicious list. And then when, okay. when Matt's getting his butt kicked. I need something to on. blob onto. I need Noel, a new guy who's suspicious. Noel helps Matt, like, take down two on. It's well, great. Conveniently yeah. at the same time, you, you know, to. popping up. So best friends. I don't know what she's. Mm-mm. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yes, uh, I like that. I like that you're suspicious. So that's gonna come up in the predictions category. But okay, so what else is new, notable, and shocking from this one? Okay, well, I guess what's kind of notable. Yeah is the Perrin and Fail storyline. Yeah. Where Fail, you know, because we ended uh, Path of Daggers with Fail being captured. And then we have Masima, who's just going to, like, come along on this journey to find Fail. Okay. And that's, and then Fail's <laughs> kind of in this weird predicament. Yeah. In it, the shadow camp. And then that's it. That's where we leave them. And it's like, okay. It's actually really funny. So I, I feel like Winter's Heart is, is such a divided book. Well, especially because they're on the cover. Well, I know it's like they're on the cover. This is the plot line that's like presented to us for Winter's Heart. But that plot, like Perrin Fael plotline really only takes like like four or five chapters. It's like, it's not very long. Mm-hmm. It's very short and it's at the beginning and then we don't hear from them the rest of the book. Yeah. So. Okay. You know what is new? Going to a new city where we can't channel. That's Ooh, true. That you missed very, the shocking yeah. piece though. Uh, but what, that, which part? What you did. What did I do? You got a notebook. You got oh, a you got, got a notebook a to write a journal to write <laughs> her predictions in. Yeah, I said I was gonna get it for like over a year, probably. Yeah, and nice. She, put, she made a sus a sus list. Yeah, my sus. And she put Noel at the top. Yeah, Noel's at the top. <laughs> and I think that's like the only person you. No, added for a while. I have more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we, I come along. I'm I have a, I saw a question in chat about Noel, but I'm gonna leave that one for later. So mm-hmm. I'll I took that down to make sure I asked that one. Okay, so okay. I, I love the whole like in a new city. Uh, and channeling yeah. is New a city that you can't channel in. Yeah. That's pretty cool. We spent a, actually quite a bit of time there. Yeah. Brand draw. Like, it's like a whole trap. Yeah. He's drawing all the Asheron he wants to kill there because he's hoping that he's better at hand to hand combat than they are. And yeah. he's kind of right. Yeah. Cool <laughs> that, that, I mean, that scenes when he, when he throat punches Roche and like, kills him. <laughs> it's like a, he is, he is a, he's a special guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I do like that. I do like that. Uh, that is. Did you ever conceive of such a thing? Like, did that kind of catch you off guard? You're like, oh, wait, what? You can't. I mean, I that I remember kind of going like, oh, that. Channel? Yeah, that like really. I I don't know if it dampens it a little bit at mm-hmm. first, but then you're like, oh, now there's a there's a danger aspect to this. Uh, right. Well, so. we also learn about a terrangrial called a well. Yep. Yep. That apparently helps you channel in places you can't channel yeah there you go but you know (laughs) we're not helpful when you have a giant compass that points to you when you're channeling yep it it is a little bit like back and forth right jordan was like okay it's gonna do this thing but then i'm gonna have this way to get around it but then we're gonna have this way to find those people Um, yeah it's a weird it's a super weird plot device and like we can come back to this for like the cut it from tv but like it's so close to just like make it make it a steading (laughs) <laughs> like just describing this entire new complex like terrain <laughs> yeah. yeah. but i love the pointing aspect like it uh to yeah. me it's one of those you know you think like i'm like this is one of those like uh do i bring this up i'm gonna bring it up that's fine uh because i'm like i don't know how a spoiler it is but anyways i think it's Jordan kind of innovating and giving us ideas of what terrangrial can do and like yeah. what are some interesting you know, Basically. this idea of like being able to point out for someone, imagine someone that can't channel, doesn't know who's channeling. Mm-hmm. And there's a Tarangriel that can be like, you know, Over imagine there. somebody made a Tarangriel that's like that, or even like a Tarangriel that was like that person, you yeah. know, or like, uh, it's like almost like a, you know, it's like imagine a Tarangriel where it's like uh, whoever channels, it forces them to sing or something, a karaoke, you know, whatever. Yeah. All of a sudden you're like, like, oh, that one's really channeling over there. Maybe we shouldn't have these Tarangriel. I don't know, Matt. That's, well, like we still don't yeah. really know what that Tarangriel did to Elaine that time that no one will tell her what she did. 
there was nudity involved probably there was like there was a she's little like dancing on tables or something yeah there's like yes. a comment about like oh i didn't get drunk enough to like dance on a table naked or something it's like there's a little comment but eh. nah. yeah it's anyway fine. Yeah. <laughs> that's fine yes. so we have that that's happening but then we also get introduced to cad swain's terrain grill we her figure whole, out her hair jubils do, do stuff. all sort and then naive now has a cool set of magical jubils jubilee boobilies yeah mm -hmm. it's like a whole bunch of stuff <laughs> and do all sorts of cool things yeah yeah you you will again it's those kind of yeah it, I, I feel like jordan's having fun kind of building out his world here that's why i've always yeah. felt like these later books yeah you know you, you're doing things that are kind of like, do we need to, we need to see a city like this? Not, we didn't have to, but it's yeah. it's fun. It's a it it's, a, it's yeah. a different idea. Yeah, like take take our time yeah. and do some cool stuff. Okay, and then we have shocking news that Fane is in this city. Oh yeah, and yeah. he doesn't want those dark friend Dashman killing Rand, so he just kills them. Yeah, <laughs> because yeah. it's Fane's job to kill Rand, not anybody else's. <laughs> <laughs> which, is which I think is on point. You know what I mean? Like I, yeah. I, I, I love that that is the, anyways, I love that that, that showed up or that happened. Um, yeah. So yeah, that is new, notable and shocking. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then we get Lan just killing that rioted guy. Torum rioting. Yeah, mm -hmm. he did. He did it. Okay. So a couple things. Number one, which shocking. Which we just gloss right over. Well, we, I mean, we talk about a few things. We, we do talk about the fact like Lan's the best. He Lan's the best. It's like, nobody's going to, who's going to, who's going to be Lan? in a sword fight. I did actually ask you that. And we talked about like land versus Rand. You did come up on the land side. So I'm, you know, I'm happy about that, mm -hmm. but we talk well, about land doesn't have any side wounds. Yeah. He's, you know, that impacts his ability yeah. to fight. The, the funny <laughs> thing about the land and naive and Rand going into the Fain trap oh, is that they're like, we know it's a trap, so we can't get trapped. And then they get trapped. The fact that Lan and naive <laughs> are okay with going into this horrible trap plan. Like you think Lan should have a good head on his shoulder and like don't go into that mm -hmm. obvious trap, but they're yes. all on board with it and they do. Well, I, and I don't know if it's because that whole idea that you can't, I don't know if Rand's getting to that point where you can't stop him. Yeah. You know what I mean? So how do you, yeah. what do you do other than protect him? I guess. You yeah. Know? If it's like, he's going to go, it's like, I'm going to go anyways with him. Yeah. So. Yeah. Rand and Lan have the best <laughs> romance. Yeah. Obviously. Romantic fall. Well, no, that's yeah. more like, I always saw them more as like father son because he always like had Lan like okay. even when he like when they left yeah you know he was no where who's my dad you know and yeah. then like Lan like, was there to mentor him. I'm gonna like go a... more on the bromance side because it's so it's like I don't know if I've read more romantic <laughs> stuff but like as Lan is falling off the roof and Rand catches his arm and they're yeah, dangling yeah. there Lan's like <laughs> let go and Rand says well, when the sun when the sun green. turns green. <laughs> and <then> like, <laughs> <laughs> like it's so romantic okay i have to, i don't remember that now i have to go read it it's somebody quote that i want somebody to quote that in chat i need to post that that's freaking yeah. good yeah. i like a lose junior cloudy with a chance with the chance of faint stabs yes um, i like that of course. that's good yeah and then obviously the most shocking at the end is the big cleansing yeah the cleansing oh yeah exactly um this is one of those like it was your right thing and it is sh a shocking moment um it is certainly I can't remember now, honestly. I can't remember if it's a second read through, so I don't. Re I don't know for sure, but it it is. I think people like you kind of pointed out, Danny, had uh, had theorized that this would this would happen at some point, but they were not. I don't think any of us were ready. Like this was the point. You know, this was yeah. this was the moment well, it like, happened. Rand's been talking about it for a long time, and he goes and he finds Nynaeve and is like, "Hey, I'm gonna need you. Mm -hmm. uh, this is what I'm doing." And Nynaeve's like, okay, cool, but we're playing by my rules because Nynaeve always is like, I got to be in charge. And then, you know, all that <laughs> goes down. And then even when they're like literally about to travel, everyone's like, hey, what are we doing? And then Ron's like, going to cleanse the taint. And everyone's like, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. But yeah. first I buried Kalendor in a hole <laughs> in the ground in the forest and i gotta go get it first yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like so. this is how we're treating our like yeah. super powerful song yes. Yes. like what are we doing yes it is yes that is absolutely how he, how he was <laughs> yeah. oh there's there's a lot to discuss on that that piece by the way uh, by the way did you like the wheel of time series better the second time through 130 mm -hmm. of you vote on this one 78 percent said yes so that's something to consider, Danny, that oh, these people wow. here liked it better the second time through. Now, uh, still reading for the first time, 6% of our audience that is in chat 
is reading this for the first time. So hopefully we've done a great job of not spoiling things for you. Two uh, percent uh, said no, but that's a very small percentage. Uh, that must only read have been it. A mistake. <laughs> only read it once. Only read it once. Fourteen percent. So interesting. Uh, not not a shock to me, but um, yeah. Oh, and uh, it looks like. How am I going to post this? Oh, I guess I, yeah, I can just post it right like this. Um, sorry, I'm like opening an image. <laughs> uh, okay. That's Actually, okay. I think I'm going to, I'm going to, now I'm going to, I'm doing a search of my own. Well, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> talking half so, right so, now. So, yeah, right now I'm like. <laughs> like talking to himself, we're like, cool. Uh, no, I'm like, like wait, well, I was what? Also talking about Elaine, so like we can. Okay, yes. Well. No, you can go ahead and talk about Elaine. Um, oh, how about this big as a shocking reveal? Yeah. We get the uh, very small ESAM perspective, and oh, we get like a confirmation, the one off confirmation. Oh, well, we get a murder mystery solved. Yeah, yeah. So who killed the Black Aja sisters in the, in the Stone of Tear in the, Stone of Tear, in the jail? And, and it, nailed their tongues to the door. It was Isam. And then he also killed the Gray Man in the tower oh, that was trying mysteries. to kill like a Gwaine way back. Yeah. And then Nynaeve caught the Gray Man in a bubble of air or whatever. And then Isam popped in and, uh, you know, stabbed the Gray Man. So it's cool. But yeah. Um, shocking reveal. That is kind of shocking. Yeah. And then he's also trying to kill Rand. He right is. Now. He's trying to kill Rand, and Rand wasn't there, so right. it didn't work. That sounds like a bit. <laughs> that's it. That's <laughs> could have tried. Could have tried harder, but I guess that's mm -hmm. fine. Yeah. I was there was a note. Oh yeah, and well, I mean, Isam and I mean, was there anything else about Isam that you found as new, notable, and shocking? No. Well, we know yeah. Isam and Luca have like they're this like same. We know that. Yeah. Sure, but was there anything else about it? Um, no, it was like yeah. uh, like not even. It was like a one page like perspective switch in the middle of a chapter okay. to that guy. Matt's talking like he's trying to figure out if <laughs> Well, he's like, where are we? Where no, are I'm we? I'm well, I wrote down something down that I thought was revealed and uh maybe it was and just wasn't noticed. So possible. But maybe, that, but maybe it wasn't. Yeah. Um okay. I okay. don't even read so, of like the whole chapter <laughs> sometimes. I like skim over a lot of exposition. And oh, there's like be talking about something, I'll be like, that happened? <laughs> Uh, there's there's stuff here that I'm like I don't think we've mentioned this one. Have we mentioned anything new, notable, and shocking about Dahmer? Like Dahmer Flynn? Mm -hmm. Like that okay. he's the old Asher man? <laughs> okay, <so laughs> yeah. I swear yeah. this happens. Okay, now uh, I'm now I'm like mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. That's all. I've got, that's all I'm saying. I just I'm gonna stop asking questions. Well, one of them dies. Yeah, not uh, Dahmer, not Flynn. Nope. Um, just, I'm just wondering yeah. if, if Matt's going to like DM me on discord or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm going to be like I said, I'm not going to say anything. Cause I, I'm, I thought I was right, but maybe I'm wrong. So we'll, uh, we'll Ooh, stop there. Good. Anything else new, notable and shocking that you want to bring up? <laughs> well, okay. So the thing that I like probably the least, and okay. also it was a little, not really actually that shocking, because they've been talking about it for a long time, but okay. I guess it was kind of new is that the three women like bond Rand. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bond yes. with Rand and kind of each other. And it's just so. See, I thought you were going to wait for the good and the bad. I will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to talk about, you don't have to talk about that. That's new. No, no, let's, let's, let's hold okay. that. Okay. Let's well, here's that. something like notable is that okay. Elaine did a very good job in my perspective, meeting with the borderlanders yeah okay and kind of dealing with them yeah that was a good meeting yep. i liked it ropes them into the whole like let's use them to help secure my throne situation sort of she has a plan she has some kind of plan they and, respect I, the and plan. I like a plan more than i like her doing nothing yeah okay so so brett are you looking at chat and can danny see chat like uh danny can't see chat i'm chat. looking at chat can you look at the uh comment by night runner and is that incorrect or correct that yeah that's happens? correct yeah that, okay did I we, didn't think that did was we not... so uh flynn uh figured out how to heal stilling oh yeah, yeah. We, yeah. Know yeah. That. Well, we know that okay. that that was confirmed yeah yeah, yeah okay we know that okay. and a bunch of the yellow aja are all super jealous and hate it i thought yep. i thought that was in winter's heart and i wasn't totally sure yes, so i just want to make yes, sure it yeah. was. Okay. yes it was yeah yeah which I thought was, uh, yeah, sorry I mean, again. The yeah. problem is I <laughs> can't remember names. 
And if you were like, hey, at Ashram and healed still again. <laughs> right, right, right. Again, I these are like I didn't do double confirmations and get the actual text yeah. that said it. So I wanted it's to actually make really sure funny that, like, because wasn't that from the chapter that was like very good news or something like that? <laughs> wonderful news. Wonderful, wonderful news. Yeah. And I was like, oh, we're gonna find out Elaine's pregnant because I'm so not into that either. Yeah, I can't remember what that. <laughs> but yeah, no, that is that, on that this does happen. International Women's Day. I should say some positive things <laughs> <laughs> about Elaine. I need you're gonna, so yeah, that's true. We should have forced you today to like be, just be pro Elaine. You know what I mean? That's what we should have been. <laughs> okay. Anything else new, notable, and shocking that you want to bring up before we jump to the next section? I call everything show. else for the next section. So let's let's do, it. do it. Okay. Here we go, everybody. The next topic tonight is, yes, the good and the bad, right? We've talked about what you got right and wrong. And there's probably We've talked about other. new and shocking information, but now we want to hear kind of like what of all these things did you really feel came across and that was really good? And what was just like, eh, and it kind of fell short for you. So yeah, yes. maybe give us, I don't know if you want to start with the bad first the or bad. the good. Give, your, you know, give the most the controversial opinion. Get all the, you know. My most controversial Everyone opinion. who's going to just I, like leave I've, the. I've already alluded to it. And I understand but that this say is it. controversial and that some people it. really like it. And there are really good points for why people like it. And I get it. Just say it. Do, just I, d- I don't even it. know what we're talking about. I, I, go, I'm go okay. Ahead. <clears throat> I'm on board with the fact that we have three women who are so in love with Rand that we're all okay. willing to share him. Fine. Okay. And we okay. have, you know, our own relationships too. We have, you know, the sister bonding type of thing with Elaine and Avienda. Mm-hmm. And like, that's all very nice. It's all polygamous relationship. Everybody's happy. Cool. Okay. Yeah. The magical bonding part she hates it it's kind of like i don't know where only some people can control if it can be like masked or shielded yeah whatever yeah min has no control she can't channel so she can't it has no real control over any of this and then it's like but we all can feel each other's emotion like way too much well sexual encounters and experiences like it's it's not hidden that it's right. something that they have to get drunk off their friggin' faces for yep. to try and block up. Like it's not great, and it's there's some problematic things. I just about don't it. understand <laughs> why that had to happen. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. It's not the best. Why? Why? <laughs> that's a that's a question I don't think anyone but Robert Jordan could have answered. <laughs> I mean, uh, okay, I've played defense on this yeah. before because like with the whole Rand and the three women thing, if there's a lot of like if you don't think about it like too much then it's like ah that's so nice and it's so nice that like because elaine wanted to do it Mm -hmm. right she is the aes Sedai. she wanted rand as her warder however she considered her sisters and her her friend whatever in this yeah scenario so that no one was left out i get that part but why why did anybody why did it actually need to happen then yeah well it's so that they can experience the veins of gold and feeling the Power of love, it's important. There, love is an important emotion that we feel here. So. Anyway, there's also there's also some mythological stuff going on here, you know, that RJ's drawing from. Yes, and I, I've been fine. through it. I don't want to like rehash everything. No, <laughs> and Brett's like, I have I have slogged through this and it's not pretty. That for me is, is bad. I like call me to call me. I love it. The wheel weaves as the wheel wheels. That's there right. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I've tried saying that and she just said no. no. <laughs> that is this is so good. Um, what is I like this one. Uh, uh, Brandy K. There we go. Min is the only one actually in a relationship with Rand. I, yes. I love She's that comment. She's kind of the number um, one right now. And then Elaine and Navienda are kind of in their own relationship right now. And I know what yeah. people think about their own, you know, sister or whatever, but like they totally love each other. Yeah. By the way, uh, like bonding like, and sharing a yeah. bed and, you yeah. know, I, I like a, time together. I like, I like Bellfire. He's Taviran. How much choice did he really have? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, I love, I love that when we talk about this or any topic, we often use the actual world itself to either support yeah. or reject the idea. Yes. And so uh, well good. done. Good. Um, okay we can move on from that oh yeah. and then also the, but then also the resulting elaine pregnancy oh yeah it was super potent oh. uh she's pregnant with twins well, that's, <laughs> that's not, how it works that's right that's actually no it's science that's how it works yeah more like super super potent I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I just, well, okay. that's the kind of thing that we cut yeah. out of the... which is like is <laughs> less than like nine months away or that, like, we're doing the math there's like concerned yeah about this 
are that's a good question are you concerned with this okay this is this is my favorite comment and <laughs> Kiprano said uh the dusty will try to convince you that elaine and rand are in a platonic relationship <laughs> they're actually just uh, friends they, okay yeah. so by the way what he's referencing is a a, a podcast episode that my my friend Brian and I do with Barside Chats. Mm -hmm. And this was a topic that came up. Uh, I believe this is from a Barside Chats episode. And uh, yeah, I think I did a good job um, of convincing the audience. I mean, no one else might think that, but I think that, so. Elaine and Rand? Uh, um, I mean, I think that Avienda <laughs> yeah. and Min would like not agree. They felt they were there. Yeah. The <laughs> okay. But yeah, I understand without, again, yeah. rehashing everything like Elaine and Rand have like the kind of relationship that two nobles would have where it's mm -hmm. like we're married because nobles and like well, no, royal they connections. Think they, they think they love each other. Yeah. But they're also stupid, like 18 to 22 year olds. Like, yeah. What do you even know? Idiots. All of them. Everybody in this series, <laughs> they're all stupid. Oh, well, and at this point, like there are too many people in Rand's head. Oh yeah, Rand is does not have enough headspace. <laughs> there, it's not that, good. Like it's that it's is funny, but it's not good. However, that is real. Anything that like inconveniences Alana as much as this has is almost funny. yeah. It knocks her out for three days. That's a that's a good point. I mean, honestly, yeah. uh, I think we can all agree with that sentiment. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Want more bad? Okay, more bad. Like, there's actually not that much. Um, I really didn't like yeah. that Matt's whole plan <laughs> to leave Abu Dar. We get it, you know, throughout the entire book that he's working on getting out of Abu Dar. We're working up to it. It's super exciting. Yeah. And then we leave on a cliffhanger and we don't know if he even actually yeah. gets out of it. Like we get the act of leaving, but we don't actually know if he left. And I was <laughs> saying, you imagine now having to wait another two years for the next book to come out to see if Matt even made it out of Abu Dhar because they're not out of Abu Dhar. Like they're, they're leaving, but they just tried to kidnap Tuan and Seleucia mm -hmm. and they're not out of the city. No. So like, yeah. It, it, what I, I feel like you're having a problem with the idea that maybe Matt was dead in the last book. And then basically he can't get out of the city in this one. Yes. Well, and um, I really just need trapped. him to get away from trapped. Thailand because yeah. I can't stand Thailand. Correct. Thailand. Yes. I think we can all agree with that sentiment. Yeah. Um, I know. Yes. Well, I was like, maybe Thailand, maybe Thailand can just get blown up. Yeah. She's okay with the Shanchen being blown up and then Thailand, Thailand and, and Beslin. You're not really a big well, fan. Well, Beslin, if he makes yeah. it out, like, cool, but. Beslin's like the best friend frat boy buddy of matt mm -hmm. drinking buddy partner who wants to just start a fight <laughs> my problem with thailand is literally everything right okay yeah she's yeah. The bad. another another the bad yeah she's yeah. the bad yeah. and she's embracing the shanshan stuff that's like full what, on she's she's like literally going to become one of the blood and like probably be owning Damani. and i hate her how about that mm, yep. there you go okay she can be dead yeah, I've never heard of any fan that's like, I love that character. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why. There's, there's somebody out there. Somebody. Yeah. Uh, well, but. you know, Danny uh, tried to defend Elida for like a long time. And I think we're over that now. But like, <laughs> I think we're over that I now. I still think that she's a little bit misunderstood. Sure. Okay. By herself. I don't she's, like her though. Anymore. She's the main source of her own misunderstanding. <laughs> like, yeah, well, because she misreads her own foretelling. Yeah. I don't think Elida was in this book for. Like, <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Okay. What else is bad uh, about this one? By the way, like you're making some really good comments why this book is like isn't great. No, we're getting. Yeah, I know. I know. These, like, I, I know, I know. That are bad, and then. And this isn't even necessarily like, I, I, in my perspective, like bad things I don't like. Just bad things that happen in the book, like mm -hmm. the Perrin Barrelane rumor mill, where Barrelane is like oh. suggesting that Perrin slept with her. Like the day Fael the, the, was yeah. gone. It's not great. I was so mad. So I don't it, like Barrelane. Yeah. Like, I think that's a really interesting plot point and like a really schemey thing to do. So like, I like that. And I like Barrelane as a character. I don't. Like, I wouldn't personally <laughs> want to be necessarily in her. Like, maybe, I don't know. She rules a country, you know, but it's fine. Yeah. But mm -mm. Mm -mm. is it a bad plot? I think it's a good plot point, but it's like a bad thing that happens. I'm going to ask everybody, are you a Berlaine fan 
by the way, please do not let chat. I don't want chat to divide. <laughs> I don't want chat to like turn into a fight about Bear Lane, but I want to ask if you're a Bear I love Bear Lane. I think she's fantastic. He likes her fictional boobs. That's what <laughs> they're supposed to be the best. Number one. Number two, Perrin sucks at dealing with Bear Lane. Yes. Like part yes. half of the problem with the Bear Lane thing is that Perrin sucks. He sucks at dealing with women. He well, again, with and his well, wife. again, you have to remember, like, he's actually very young also, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, I mean, like, yeah. <laughs> the, there's that piece of it, right? Yeah, yeah right. Uh, yeah, 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 like, yeah, how yeah, many yeah. of us were, like, great in relationships when we were 19 uh, yeah, yeah. or 20? <laughs> you know okay. what I mean? So. And then the I don't know what you're talking okay, about. <laughs> the last bad thing for right, me okay. was that there was no advancement of Egwene at all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because so in at the end of Path of Daggers, we have her going through the gateway to the, the Tarvalon yeah. siege. Yeah. And then apparently this book was a little bit of like a r -r -r rewind. Yeah. And then we the do get a timestamp. Yeah. It takes place over, I don't know, I guess the month that I don't even really know. It's so confusing the timeline. Yeah. But then near the end of the book, we're like, ah, Egwene's going through the gateway. Yeah. It was like a, a week rewind and we get like 10 days. It's basically like a two ish week. Time yeah, because Matt had 10 days to escape and he waited to the last day to try to yeah, do he it. Yeah, certainly did. Yeah, it was a very yeah. short. Yeah, that's another yeah, bad it's pretty short. aspect. Yeah. But then, yeah, it was like legitimately no advancement of Egwene and that whole mm -hmm. siege on Tarvalon, which I'm very interested in. Yeah. So, yeah. That is, uh, I, again, I think this is, this is the frustration of this book. And I think why it kind of ends up in that. Like we said, that five, a lot of that five to eight, nine to 12 category right. yeah. for fans is there was the things you just brought up were really frustrating about this book. Now yeah. tell us why it's so good. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Well, you know what I liked was the Bale Doman, oh, yeah. Agianen, like Matt new team up. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was fun. I like actually Sean Chen fighting against Sean Chen and being like, actually, we don't necessarily agree with everything that's happening yep. here because yep. it gives mm -hmm. me hope. I was really feeling at the beginning of this book quite emotionally defeated about the Sean Chen moving in and there's really nothing we can do about it. And, yep. you know, it, we get a lot this book of like all the settlers are moving in, like the yep. farmers, the village, right. like you're not getting rid of the Sean Chen. They're here to stay. Right. Yep. And then it was feeling quite, bad especially when we learn about you know the sea folk the head of the wind finders or something nesta like nesta gets her He's head like, chopped her, off has her head chopped yeah. off because mm. she tried to fight against them and there's like literally nothing we can do and this is like a yeah. slave owning society that the, it it just feels bad and defeating mm -hmm. yep. and it's like you know what can we even do and then by the end of this book it's like this is what we can do we can fight and we can try yeah and that you know, there are some uplifting points and I actually really liked the way it ended with, yeah. with that whole, like, yeah, we're going against, you know, some of the things. And then even Matt saving <laughs> the Windfinder Damane. Allegedly. Like, well, he didn't, well, he didn't, he didn't have to, like, yeah. and who know, you know, at this point I even said in our recap, I was like, who knows how far they're even going to get, Yeah. but he didn't do nothing. Yeah. And I think that's why I really like Matt as a character because he doesn't think he's altruistic, but like his actions are. Yeah. And I, and I like that. Yeah. The big cliffhanger is he gives them the opportunity. He frees the one and says, wait. And he shows her how to yeah. the collar. And yeah. And he gives them the opportunity to like fight for their freedom in their lives. Like, Hey, I can't do much, but like I did what I can. So yeah. And that's like, that's yeah. all you can do. It is. That. It's very, so, it's pretty inspiring. So I yeah. love that. I yeah. really do like that. The whole Bethamin, Rena, Seta, Sewell Dam thing. They're like, escaping with some of the you know i said i yeah yeah any, i think anytime jordan brings up complexity into the like it's not just one or the other yeah, yeah. i think there are like moments where you're like okay cool so there's there's a chance here for change yeah. not necessarily the change will happen but you're like okay that feels a little bit more real to me than it is if you just kind of like everything's mm. just black or white. You know what I mean? Well, I mean he does that with a lot of his characters, but I'd like to see him do that with kind of cultural kind of stuff yeah. too. Yeah. We've, we've, I'm pretty sure we've talked about this hundred percent before, but like RJ will put like a really tough situation in front of us as a reader, but then he doesn't give us a moral judgment. He just says, this is a shitty situation yeah. and then carries on. And like it's like, when oh, we have, oh no. Yeah. Like when we have dark friends being like tortured. Yeah. Or something, and it's like, 
should we torture people even if they're bad? Even if they're bad like, guys, do we want to yeah. torture? Like, is it really the most effective? Yeah. Yeah. Like, and, yeah. yeah. That's true. Tricky. But no, I do like that about this. Um, I also really liked, we got a little tidbit of the hunt for the Black Aja in the tower. Yeah. Okay. I thought that was kind of interesting. I really liked this new kind of like, I kind of care what's happening in the tower for the first time. Just a little bit. <laughs> oh, it's such a, like a prologue only maybe. Yeah, but it was so <laughs> cool. I wish I had more. Yeah. So we found oh. our first Black Aja, sort of. And then we're like making them swear on the oath rod and doing things kind of against Which is Isaac. also problematic. <laughs> yeah, but like super interesting. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I like it. I like it. Yeah. That's, those are, again, it's the ones that's the plots that don't really move. That's Mm -hmm. frustrating. And then it's the new plots that are introduced where you're like, okay, that's really interesting. So I I feel like a lot of these mid books of the wheel of time, it's like the frustrating things are when the thing that you want to move doesn't. And the really interesting thing is when like new stuff comes up that you didn't even conceive of. Yeah. And and it's funny because everyone, it hits everyone a little bit differently, right? Like, well, we, we have like two options here. We either make like book seven to 11, one gigantic book, or we can put like all of the plot points for a couple people in one book and finish that plot line entirely. Like all these plot lines, they typically span. Yeah, well, even if not the, the more the gaze, series. like I'm super, super interested in more gazes yeah. plot line and have been for a very long time since like what, book three. Yeah. And we're yeah. still sort of in this limbo with like what's going to happen with her. And now she's yep. captured by the dumb Shido. So, <laughs> yeah. 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 You're like, the Shido, really? Like, this is still, still a thing. Here. We're doing <laughs> like, why are we? Come yes. On. Uh, <laughs> yeah. There are times where you're like, okay, Jordan, just tie something up, man. <laughs> just tie it up uh, and let's move on with some That's things. Because right. you will do that in some cases, but then in some cases, you're like, oh, yeah. okay, you're not going to do that here. Which, yeah. it, again, is. True to life, which is we, there's a lot of things in life that we'd like to just say, okay, this needs to be over, and it's not ever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then, yeah. and then other things, sure they can. And so I do like that. Even I feel like Jordan kn- knew that intuitively. He's like, I bet my readers would love it if these people just disappeared, but they don't, you yes. know. And uh, <laughs> and that's just annoying and kind of deal with it. Yeah, I think that was definitely what he was good at. If that makes sense, I think he yeah. was really good at understanding, intuiting what would frustrate us as readers, what would interest, what was the, what would keep us going, right? Obviously, like we're talking about these books uh, decades later, so. Right, uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. very true. <laughs> that's true. Okay. What else What else was good? You know what I really liked? All the Black Tower stuff that's happening right now. Oh, yeah. So we yeah. have Loghain, who is in the Black Tower now, which yeah. I'm actually like kind of irked that that was an off scene yeah i really want to see logan showing up there yeah like the initial that would be so lo- like interesting. there had to be an initial logan versus time showdown like what's up what's up what's up yep. what's up <laughs> right? that's hey, true i forgot hey, about that false yeah dragon hey false dragon remember when remember that time we both pretended to be false like you know <laughs> we both thought we were dragons and now we're not and now we're here yeah and this goes back to that like i always bring this one up with uh, uh matt and Kooladin. You know, yeah. where you kind of like hear about it afterwards and you're like, yeah. what? Come uh, on, give really? me that. Yeah. Again, I, I, again, just really brilliant writing, right? Like frustratingly brilliant because you're like, I can never see that scene ever. Like write it for me so it's real. False. And he's like, I might no. be able to see it on screen. <laughs> yeah, that's that's season true. Three, baby, here yeah. we go. Good, good, good point. Good point. Yeah, we'll just jump to season four. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But no, okay. I think that that's so yeah. interesting. And then the red aja assembly or whatever oh yeah there's like 50 captured the emissary one. <laughs> coming in and then they just get like immediately captured and then like force bonded against their will and it's like it's kind of weird yeah. but also like kind of interesting and then elaine comes on the worst tour ever and <laughs> doesn't goes- see or observe anything important <laughs> <laughs> like- so that's so interesting because there is a little bit of comeuppance that I think as a reader that Jordan gets you really kind of morally and ethically in trouble with, <laughs> and he does it really well. Cause he's like, yeah, yeah. That's that thing that you thought was so terrible and you would have like railed against the world. Uh, you're not so angry about it anymore. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> it's on okay, all these red Aja who are going to go and like murder everybody and go hang. Yeah. Them. Well, he's like, Oh yeah. But watch what happens now and see how you feel. Uh, yeah, he does like, that. Mm, I'm actually okay yeah. with this. Ah. Yeah. And they're like, wait, no, that should <laughs> Am be wrong. I a bad person? Um, yeah. Maybe. Yes. Maybe. Right. It's a, it's really interesting. 
again, as you read through them over and over again, you're like, oh, wow, like I didn't have any qualms with this the first time. But now, no, uh, I, no, really I don't. Do. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. It's but I, 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 feel, I feel it. That's what happens it's that first time through. For yeah. sure. Yep. Yes. Okay. Yep. What else? What else you got uh, on okay. the good side? I have. Nine even a lane. Nine even a lane separate. Get out of here. <laughs> Seriously. I like that. Seriously. They've it's been, been in... a long time coming. Yeah. Like this forced connection. They've been through a lot of stuff together. But they're not really friends. No. Like they're barely friendly. Yeah. And they're not really friends. And it was time for Nynaeve to separate herself from Elaine two books ago. And it finally happens. Yeah. 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 We've talked about that for a while. Yeah. Oh, you know what's not on my list that I just thought of? How Rand sends Elaine all of the captured Demani. From- oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and Tyen came in. He's like, ah, there's a gift, there's a gift for, you. for you. And she's like, what the hell am I going to do with all of this? I hope it's flowers. Yeah, and then Olivia. <laughs> yeah, Olivia. Yeah. And that's great. She's great. Olivia, the most powerful okay. Demani At first, I wasn't ever, sure. I was like, do not Shandler. let her go free. Yeah, you Don't were super suspicious. Yeah. I was. Yeah. I was suspicious. And then also, you thought that Nynaeve disappearing to go with Rand yeah. and Olivia disappearing at the same time were not connected. was not connected. And then Olivia showed up with, with Nynaeve, but also kind of like she's now Nynaeve's boss, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia, <laughs> Olivia has that vibe, right? Yeah. 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 And then Nynaeve had to give her super cool magical jewelry well, like set to Olivia. I like how she's the one person team. Yeah. She's the one man team. Everybody gets a team. Yeah. They, you know what? Now we're jumping to the cleansing. Yeah. Now, she, <laughs> at the cleansing, there's like this one man team. Yeah. There's like two, three, four people setups. And then. And she's by herself with her terrain grill. Yeah. It's her and the terrain grill. <laughs> it's like, let's And go. then she battles Ladfear. It's yeah. great. Friggin' let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I uh, so I mean, speak to me like the cleansing itself, the good, yeah. right? I mean, why? What was it about that that you thought was done? Was it just that the cleansing happened and you had guessed it, or was yeah, do you I, like how it came about? Well, I have one word, and okay. it's cad swing. Honestly. Okay, okay, cad swing. Like, if it weren't for her right now, I think that Rand would probably and I need both would just like be toast. Like, she didn't even know about Rand's plan twenty minutes ago. <laughs> and now we have this whole plan to protect him while he's doing this thing. Like yeah. he wasn't like, oh, like Rand's a bad communicator. Was he thinking <laughs> that this would take like five minutes in and out? I just I'm so confused because it took all day. Yeah, he's let. I tried to I tried to have this conversation, but it's like Rand's at a point where, in some senses, he's learning how to delegate. So he's like, hey, naive, we're gonna do this thing. Everybody else will figure their shit out, <laughs> or we're. <laughs> But he wasn't it's even part like, of the pattern. He was like, like, okay, yeah, they'll come with me. But he wasn't like, hey, can you guys all team up and protect yeah. me while I'm do- no. Catherine was like, you, you, and you go that way. You, you, and you. Forming the teams, pick team leaders. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah. 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 Um, and okay. So, and that so, was just yeah, so organized. I love organized. It's great. Yeah. I love organized. By the way, uh, I, I want to wait. Yeah. I want to really remind did. remind everyone once again. Um and we'll open the call lines here shortly. Oh um, yeah, but I forgot I about that. Dana, Dana Lou, no spoilers past Winter's Heart, even not even speculation in chat, everybody. Except in for chat, in, it includes in chat. Your comments are going to get deleted eventually if you don't listen. You might get booted, so don't get booted. Bye bye. Just uh, don't don't if you if it for sure you're not sure it happened before uh, the end of Winter's Heart, don't say it. And don't speculate as to what might happen, because again, new readers are coming through, and we don't want to lead them down specific roads of thought. Uh, we're gonna leave this as a new reader kind of experience. So keep that in mind, please. Um, okay, I have. Uh, sorry, did I miss that? I was like looking at chat. Well, no, uh, Brett just has like a <laughs> copper mug, and then there's like a single ice cube in it, and, and it's like basically he... <laughs> it's like clanging around every time he takes a drink, and I just I hate I hate it anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I I, uh, I get you. Uh, so other good things that happened here before we move on. Well, yeah, I mean, the whole Forsaken showdown, we get all the reveals. 
it's super interesting, right? I do agree with you that Robert Jordan was like, okay, I'm sick of being asked who Sindain is. I'm sick of being asked about this time demand dread situation. I'm like, where's Osingar? Where's Osingar? <laughs> um, you know, even like Halima and Mogedian show up here, yeah. right? But interestingly, Masana and Semarag are not here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that there was a whole big meeting about like Morden showed up and was like, hey, you guys are gonna go and fight Rand when he does his thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we get a couple of absent. Like all the, the yeah. Forsaken Alliance meetings. I always yeah. thought that was super interesting. So we, we had some absent people from the cleansing battle. Yeah. And we'll see how that yeah. runs, and then, I guess. Yeah. And yeah. then again really cool the perspective from the one Aes Sedai who is mm -hmm. actually a Elza. black Aja Elza yeah but now she's been compelled to follow Rand and so she's fighting Forsaken for Rand even yeah. though she's a dark friend it's like so complex and I love it it's so yeah. interesting because Rand needs to be at the Varen. last battle yeah and I mean I, Varen, yeah. I really like Varen yes also yeah. I used yeah. to be super skeptical of her but yeah. I mean, like, I still am. But everybody. But Well, Varen was going to murder Cad Swain this book. Oh, yeah, she was. But then didn't because, like, it sounded like Cad Swain was actually on Rand's side. Mm -hmm. She had, like, her little potion bottle of, like, poison. <laughs> yes. yes. She's like, she should did. I should I drop it in? Nope, maybe not. <laughs> yeah. But then some people suggested maybe Cad Swain knew all along, and that's why she divulged some information. Yeah, but then it's like, are you a Varen stan or are you Cad Swain stan? So it's Ooh. like, who's who's smarter, Varen Ooh. or Cad Swain? A Varen Stan or a Cad Swain? Well, I asked this question in chat. Has your opinion about Cad Swain changed over the years? 53% uh, right now are saying yes. 47% yeah. say no. Well, um, like, so are we supposed to like her? Like, she's abrasive and rude and kind of this, like, <laughs> grandma that nobody really asked to be around. <laughs> yeah. And she just shows up and takes control. Like, I feel like we shouldn't like her. And then, like, I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I don't want to share any opinions yeah. at this point. <laughs> you should, when you get to the very end, we should have a discussion of uh, Cut Swain. Oh. Of who we like. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Varen Stan. Part or of so Claude many Stan. things when I'm done. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, that's, I mean, that's a, that's a fun question. We'll ask your question here. Are you a Varen Stan? Well, Cut Swain <laughs> super successfully manipulated Rand into getting yeah, to she be did. his advisor. Yeah, maybe not. He'll come to me. <laughs> yeah. I hope she played hard to get. She's playing hard to get with the 20 year old and she's like, I don't know, Winning. 300. <laughs> well, it's interesting because, you know, everyone's trying a different method, just like Moraine, you know, yeah. you look at, and anyone that's interacted with Rand, it's like, how do I, how do I connect with him in a way that I, and again, I think as a parent of 120, you know, young 20 year old, 20, I think he's 23 <laughs> at this point. Is Taylor 23 or 22? I can't remember. He's 23 <laughs> or 22. And, uh, and an 18 year old and a 16 year old, right? Like understanding, you know, just all of us at that age, it's like, I don't know, what is the thing that matters to me most where I'll listen to somebody or not? Like what's the influence? And right. Jordan plays with that a lot. I, I, I love that. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. I love that Jordan again, messes with us to say like, you know, are you, do you think Rand is, doing this right or not, you know, is he, yeah. is he wrong to not trust, you know, or to trust someone, you know, and I think it's and always why. safe to say Rand is generally wrong about most He's things. generally doing pretty poorly. <laughs> He's just doing overall. his best. Yeah. 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 Um, I really okay. like how he disguises as the world's ugliest person. Yeah. That was, Oh man. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. Um, I, <laughs> It is hilarious. <laughs> um, other other uh, good things about uh, this book before we want to jump into our next topic. Do we cover everything? Um, I think else? so. And I think a lot of the stuff now that's like really good, it's because I'm predicting mm. what's going to happen next. Okay. And I know that there's a signal for that. So we won't overlap. Okay. Okay. Um, let's, uh, do you know what our next category is? How it should have ended. Um, that is correct. That Yay. is our next category. How it should have ended. Yeah. Um, and uh, I also, by the way, saw uh, this question. Um, so let's answer this question. Uh, Torvok said, they're new readers at Winner's Heart at the moment. Uh, good question. Just as a reminder, uh, Danny is reading the series for the first time. Brett's an old hardcore fan freak uh, of The Wheel of Time. 
Uh, but uh, they're going through the books together. And so that's why we're keeping chat and the show spoiler free up through yes. the end of Winter's Heart. So yeah. great question. If anyone Thank is you. curious, I just read chapter nine of Crossroads of Twilight. Mm. You can't bring it up in chat. I can't talk about it. And I'm only talking about up to Winter's Heart. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> how it should have ended. Yeah. What do you think? I mean, this is one of your favorite, uh, the cleansing. I mean, and so ending. far you brought up, you thought it was a good ending. You thought the, the so kind of forsaken plots, the it one thing you did. Like an ending. Sorry. It, no, I was going <laughs> to say the one thing. Yeah. You said that the one thing you did bring up was not knowing what's happening. You know, it doesn't seem like you had much movement with Egwene and, and Matt basically. Um, are those good things? Do you think that ended the Robert Jordan actually ended it well? Or do you think that uh, it kind of left it, you know, on a stale note for you in some ways? I think that this was a great ending, honestly. I think that the ending, the last chapter specifically, really felt like a conclusion. And it had been several books, probably since, you know, book... I don't know, six really? Yeah. Because like book seven sort of had a conclusion. That was um, the Samuel thing. Yeah. Well, right? it's kind of because book six was Do my as well. high, high, like theoretically yeah. the ending to book six should have been the book uh, book seven ending because Rand's plan was go and kill Samuel and Ilian, but that got railroaded because of the kidnapping. So oh, right. Do My Wells was kind of like a surprise ending to a plan that didn't sure. go through properly for Rand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah and then like book seven ending was like catching up to where Ren wanted to be but then with all this terrible aftermath of Dumas Wells right so good so yeah I did feel like the first this was the first time in a while we got just like a really a night a, a good feeling of a conclusion mm -hmm. but we still did get some loose ends which yep. you know leads us into wanting to read the next book right so that yep. so yeah at, in the moment, I was kind of frustrated that we didn't find out what was going on with the Ebudar and Matt and Tuan situation. That was frustrating at the time, but it makes you want to read more. And that I kind of like that kind of ending. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I could have done with like a bit of a Matt wrap up of like, did he did he not get out? Like what actually happened? Yeah. I, I would like like I think a little I bit of time. I would like that if we didn't get the big like actual cleansing for sure yeah because right? yeah. that just felt like there was a conclusion to something that we've been talking about for mm -hmm. books and books and books and books right so so and i think there's yeah i like that I, and i think you're right i forget that about this book that i think i did appreciate unlike i think book eight that yeah. this actually had something big and monumental that we were kind of maybe theorizing needed to happen yeah and we finally were getting one i mean i'll be honest book nine i was like Finally, <laughs> like <Yeah>. something's <laughs> something's happening. This is what I felt at the end of book nine was like, okay, here we go. Like we're, we're building, we're basically building for the end, right? Like we yeah. didn't know at the time it was like, we don't know how many books were left. Right. right? But Jordan yeah. had at once thought like 10 books, you know, I, I think, I think we thought sometimes 12 books, you know? Yeah. So there was this idea of like, okay, so now what? Right. And so I'm really curious when you get to the end of the next book, when we have the same chat, Kind of like how you feel, but I'm asking everyone in chat this: basically, does Winter's Heart have one of the top three endings mm -hmm. of the first nine books? Do you think there is a better ending that you've read up to this point, you know, or do you think this is the best ending that you've experienced so far? Interesting. I do. I really <laughs> did like this ending. Yeah, I yeah. really did. Was I'm trying to think now. Although I really liked book four. Yeah. The golden bowl or wherever, you know, yeah, the whole yeah, like yeah. cool it in and then we make it rain and then we escape to Ruidian. That was yep. an excellent ending. Yeah. The whole fight in Teleron Riyadh, you know, like jumping in and out. There's I mean, the, end of book uh, like five is like the yeah. ravine battle. Yeah. Like the ra oh, I, end, end of book of five one. is so, well, it's five. so memorable, right? Yeah. End of book five. Oof. I love book five so Cause much. Because book five is funny because yeah. you kind of get like, you, you think that maybe the Shido thing is going to be the ending of book five, but then it turns out like in the, like middle the middle of the book yeah. <laughs> and you're like, what's going to, what's going to happen? And Rand's like, let's fucking go to Camelot and kill Ravine. Well, and then that's when you get yeah. the land fear 
you know, Kadir skin suit. Yeah. Yeah. Who's yeah, Amanda? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I would, what's funny is I often say like book four is my favorite, but if I think just the ending itself, book five is pretty yeah. like, well, and then yeah, Demise pretty... Wells is pretty monumental. But like this, yeah. this ending is solid. I put it in top three in, in the okay. poll there. I mean, that's. Uh, I'm asking here. About seventy of the our viewers have watched this so far and or, or answered this, and seventy seven percent are saying yes. Okay. Um, so what I'm hearing is there's not really. This is, seems like a satisfying end to you. Like this isn't like how it should have ended. You know what? And you're not you're not changing things around a lot. You're like, okay, I'm yeah. frustrated by a couple of things, but I think this was a really solid, a solid entry, yeah. uh, solid ending. Really so and I think okay. that that evokes the feeling that I liked the book. Hmm. You know how it ends really, really That's true. because yeah. going yeah. through it, it was like not a bad book by any means, but to put it up, up there with, you know, Shadow Rising, Fires of Heaven, you know, that's what makes it is the ending, I think. Okay. So we have two categories left. Mm -hmm. We are, we are past our normal time here, I know, but I think I'm we sorry. might, we might, we might manage this. That's okay. We might manage this in the next 20 minutes, but we do have one caller on the line. Yeah, let's I wanna, do a call. Let, let's bring them into the show. Hey, welcome to the Dusty Wheel. Who's this? Great innkeeper. As <laughs> always, I raise my glass to you, sir. Cheers, Norm. Great. Cheers. Uh, Awesome. Brett and Danny, as always, I love when you guys come on. It is such an awesome thing because us people who have read this series for so bloody long and know the series backwards and forwards, we get to live vicariously through you, Danny, and relive the greatness that this story is. So cheers to you, my lady, and to everyone in chat. What's up, dude? What's up, <laughs> Okay, Norm, you love this, so I don't feel like I have to remind you, but I will. Remember, no questions past Winter's Heart. Um, what would you like to ask our lovely guests tonight? Both sinks. No, okay. Um, so, uh, <laughs> all right, so Danny, I have, I have two questions and a comment. So the comment is, is that I cannot wait to see on television uh, my favorite uh, line, or at least one of my top three favorite lines in the book, which is right at the end when the tank finally gets cleansed and one of the Ashraman takes in Saeedine and says, it's clean. And, ah, that, and that yeah. was just, That's good. that was just beautiful. That it was so succinct and it was just, just, just chef's kiss. Uh, so Danny, my question to you, my lady is two questions. Um, one, if you had the ability to bond your husband, would you do it and why? And then, of course, of course, would you let your wife bond you? That's the other question. That's the, the sub-question of that. And then question two, question two is now that you are officially right in the middle of this, and yes, chat, I know we've had this debate many, many moons and many, many times, but there are some deniers among you. But... <laughs> I have to ask, Danny, you're right in the middle of what we call, okay, does it the exist, dog, Danny? I know, I've heard, I've heard it. Exist? You're right in the middle of it, so yeah. does, it, and remember, we had to wait years for these books to come out, and you're now just getting a boom, 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 boom. But now that you're yeah. reading them straight through, <laughs> consecutive, does the slog exist and okay. i will sit back and listen to you guys okay okay man norm it's awesome to hear from you man yeah. we'll talk to you soon okay take okay. care you guys i'll just listen, listen to you. have a good one hey man it's awesome i love hearing your voice man and great questions so we'll tackle the first one first but yeah you can okay. listen on there okay to norm's question uh give what's the answer uh uh danny would you bond to your husband so i the only reason i might would be to like I, I'm kind of anxious sometimes, <laughs> and I and I like to That's know. That's the understatement of the year. I like to know, like, <laughs> like where he is. You know, gotcha. I'd like to be able yeah. to like kind of feel like just for my sense of you know self. But I don't think I would. I don't okay. think I would like that. You know what power I would like? Perrin's smelling 
emotions. Mm. I would like to be able to smell your emotions. We could never do this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> That's work. true. Yeah, if yeah. After the podcast is, you know, after we're done the books, then you get the power. Then I can have that. That's what I would like. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Brett, I guess the question was would you allow yourself to be bonded? Or would you? Yeah. Bond and then would you bond your wife? Yeah, I would do it. I, I, have, no pro, I have no issues with that. Oh. Let's then. go. Why not? I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's fine. <laughs> Just I feel like it. the Let's smelling thing it. would be worse <laughs> in a sense, though. I like the reason that the Ashaman started doing their bonding thing. Like yeah. a lot of them started with their wives so that they could like be, know where each other are or something yeah. like that. And it was like really sweet. And it's like, oh, my wife knows my knee is hurt or I know my wife's knee is hurting right now or something. And it seemed kind of romantic at the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, but then after it, you're it like, it evolved yeah. a little bit since <laughs> Do then. Do I want that? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, that's actually a fair point. I mean, it's like, yeah, his back hurts still. Oh God, <laughs> I don't want to feel been, your back. It's been like By the way, I want to, I want to, I want to post this comment from Koala Sadai. Um, yes. Are you well, ready for this, Danny? Hi, Koala. Uh, Koala said, "Interesting from someone who does not enjoy Perrin." <laughs> I got well, you. I'm married to Perrin. <laughs> yeah. The, well, okay. The problem is, I just don't want Brett as my fantasy character <laughs> which is fair, like, which is fair. <laughs> i got you okay like, when i read i read for like yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't be a very interesting like fantasy character in a book just too methodical You're like for what's... me, you know <laughs> i like when things people are impulsive in books i think it's fun why do all the dishes in the dishwasher go in the same place every time it doesn't make any <laughs> i don't know like, that's how they get cleaned the okay. best okay okay it's fine it's all fine. right yeah <laughs> that's i love it love it uh okay so I'm going to end this poll, what by the way. You, Would you want to bond your wife or have your wife bond you? Put him on the spot. Yeah, no, I no, <laughs> because no, no, I don't think anyone would want bonded to me. Um, my brain, I, uh, I ruminate too much. <laughs> so you would, you would not enjoy <laughs> well, that. Yeah, no one, that. Oh, yeah, no man. one would like that at all. Um, they would just be like, cause it would just be like really strange emotional journeys. And they'd be like, what's up? And I'd just be like, nothing. <laughs> they'd be like that's not true and i'd be like well that is that's not yeah i that's would not be able to explain that head. so yeah um so yeah i would i would i don't think i would like that because i would not have to want to explain that myself all uh. the time and i know that i would be the one like i feel like if i bonded my wife i'd just be like oh yeah that's exactly how i thought she felt <laughs> you know like because uh, she's very you know uh wears her emotions on her sleeves like you know yeah. it's like uh, not that she's not a complex person and not that I wouldn't be surprised yeah. by some, but I'm just saying more often than not, she would, she would look at me and be like, I couldn't have guessed that. Um, <laughs> although, it, although we've been, we've yeah. known each other now for, uh, 40, 39 years. So, wow. uh, maybe she could not be, we haven't married 39 years or anyone out there, but we've known each other for 39 years. So maybe she, you know, maybe she wouldn't be surprised by anything. <laughs> She'd be like, it's the same difference. Um, uh, so yeah, that's a. <laughs> That's an interesting that's question. question. I'm, getting, I like I'm it. getting zero new information here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I know all of this. I don't need to. I'm not surprised. Yeah. Uh, did did Winter's Heart have one of the top three endings of the first nine books? Almost 100 of you voted on this one. 79% said yes. Okay. So uh, I saw a comment in chat, and I want to ask you this because you, you got a second. Sorry, yeah, you got a second know. question, and do you okay. want to tackle this question or not? We don't have to talk about it. We can talk about it because uh, I know I saw in the chat like you're not fond of talking about the slog, or is that not true? Or oh, like, oh, the slog. Do am I in the slog? Whatever. Um, yeah, Brent, do you, do you, like doesn't quite believe the slog exists. We've talked yeah. about it a lot. Um, I I think the way that I'm reading the books, I don't think it's almost possible for it to feel yeah. like a slog just because we're just breaking down and pulling out all the information from every chapter and every book I've read, even the really interesting ones have had really kind of slower sections yeah. and chapters and almost every book has quite a slow start. Um, yeah. And book nine, I actually found so much interesting stuff out of and people are like, you're in the slog. And I was like, I am. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. no, I don't feel it. And so that's why I'm really yeah. interested in getting I, into the next book and going through. So I feel like, and I'll be honest, I feel like you can't answer this question. <laughs> what I mean by that is I you are experiencing. No, 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 no. It's because you're experiencing the book in a, no one. It's like, I know other podcasts yeah. are doing this. 99.9999% 9 of the people that read these books will never do what you're doing. And that is to say they'll skip. Yeah, they'll, I don't recommend They'll it. fast read. They're not talking about, 
right? They'll write down some predictions or something. They'll go online and look for something. But most people are not going to ever experience in the books. You, so I don't think you, you know what I mean? Like the slog is just something other than what you could potentially be experiencing because of how you're dissecting the material. And uh, so I just don't feel like, because again, I, th- I think even if the books hadn't all come out and you were going through them like this, I don't think that you would have ever felt something like what we term as the slog. Uh, right. I just think it's different. So yeah. um, anyways, that, but yeah. not, not because of necessarily it's changed, just because you're doing something really well, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you're doing. <laughs> you're like, how long have you been doing this for people that are watching that may not know? How long have Almost, you been reading? It'll be four years in May. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Four years in May. And so probably nine, another nine two. No, well, we read New Spring also. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'd forgotten that you'd read New Spring. So I should yeah. probably be including this one in there. So, okay. So, yeah. I, oh, yeah, we never talked gotta, about that. I know. We, we kind of, I mean, yeah. We Maybe we'll later. have to go back. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll tackle it some other time, I guess. And then we'll put it in the right order. Um, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. It, and I agree with, uh, I agree with Alfwitch here. Um, this is great. Danny's experience is something I am honestly a little jealous about. And I'm so glad we get to enjoy her journey along with her. Yeah. <laughs> This is a uh, this is this is fun. It's like so unique and different, and that's why we're all like, that's why I ask questions. Did, did people have these thoughts when they were reading? Because again, a lot of these people were not reading with friends or with a loved one. You know, like they were just you know reading at a library or brought it home, and people were like, oh, they're doing that geek thing again, and they're just reading the books. And so when people find the online community, they're like, finally, my people. And so when people <laughs> see you on the screen, they're like, my people. You know, you're like. You're doing something so it's fun. So um, surprising. I really never anticipated people would care what we had to say. And so <laughs> now it's, you know, we do have this little community and it's great. I love yeah. it. Yeah, it's 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 a it's a lot of fun. I, I love it. And uh let's jump into uh the next category here, yeah, okay. which is uh the weaves that's right everybody we are now at predicting the weaves you're on top of Uh, it yeah you didn't even know you were gonna get quizzed nailing yeah (laughs) i like it you're like but you guys wrote these down so that's good you're like (laughs) on point so we have this whole ongoing list of predictions that you made right i've i've been taking note of them as i go down i guess i can kind of mark some of these off so yeah let's let's um, you know, you said you were holding on to time. Is do you mind, Dread? Yeah. So we can get rid of that one now. I feel like yeah. we can, and we'll take that one off Got here. It. You had Matt being fated to marry the daughter of nine moons. I think that's related to the Sean Chan. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, so yes. And then you, check. There you Got check. That. <laughs> um, you had the Sean Chan. Did I honestly? I can't remember. Sean Chan. You had Sean Chan taking the sea folk and making them demonic. Oh, oh! That... Because at the end there was the whole um, explosion, mm-hmm. and oh, that's right. I went. I can't remember if this is actually something that mm-hmm. happens or not. Yeah, <laughs> this is, I'm, I was I'm like going like, oh wait, what? In Abu Dhar yeah, that Shanshan was the cliffhanger of Path of Daggers. Was yeah. Matt running away during the invasion and then getting crushed by a wall? So right. By the way, you had happened. Moraine, which Moraine. happened. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent happened. That did happen. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Moraine is coming back in book nine. We already talked about wrong. that. Yeah, so. wrong. <laughs> um, away, Egwene marching on the White Tower will take a while. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> okay, so there you go. <laughs> um, okay, so are there new? We don't have to cover every single one of those that came before. I will. Yeah. I'll go through them. Uh, but I wanted to mention a couple that I have. Um, what else? Predicting the weaves here for the next. You know, what's coming up? What are some new predictions that you have? Okay. Well, I'm mostly just predicting that Thailand is going to get like, I don't know, have some kind of issue because I don't like her. And I want <laughs> okay. her to. You're hoping you're like a hopeful theory that Thailand She's hopeful. is well the the words you used on our can recap get blown up she can get blown up. her and Vesslin can get blown yeah. up is with this, the Shanchin for is all this your I theory care. of what actually Robert Jordan will write in or is this just a hope <laughs> it's a hope yeah okay <laughs> She's what, <laughs> it's wishful thinking is this know. is this the yeah is this the other side of that where you're like Robert Jordan probably keeps her there and that's I don't like it or something uh, but yes yeah honestly <laughs> okay. probably. Just, Wish, wish, wishful thinking. Okay, but what yeah. else? Uh, what are you predicting is going to okay, happen? Okay, so I'm going to predict yeah. that Matt okay. 
and the okay. whole crew is going to get out of Ebudar. Yeah. Okay. This was actually an interesting one because we talked a lot about like the exit strategy is kind of iffy. Yeah. On okay. the ending of Winter's Heart. We basically so, have no real plan. Yeah. So my question was like, are we all getting out or is someone getting left behind? Is this a situation where it's like Matt's going to have to like sacrifice himself to stay behind to let everybody else escape? Is Gotcha. Freaking all of are going to get left behind somehow, you know, like, are we all getting out or? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I okay. say no one gets left behind. Everyone's Including getting out. Including Solution, Tuan, I think they're coming. Okay. The, and the whole crew. Okay. Whole crew. Whole crew. Everyone whole crew. included. Mm-hmm. Okay. I like it. Um, um, go for I'm it. I'm pretty convinced that Fail and Morgays and what's her name? Aleandra. Yeah. Are going to get freed. Either they're going to free themselves or... Perrin is going to get them out somehow. I just, I can't see us being... Like in Crossroads? Mm-hmm. In the next book, or... Well, I just can't see us being Shido captives to the end of the series. Like, that just seems... <laughs> <laughs> that just seems okay. stupid, right? That, that so, would be stupid. Yeah. I mean, right? the Shido like, still exists, which is kind of stupid. <laughs> oh, God. Get out of here. Get out of my yeah. books. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, I would say probably in the next, like, two books because it depends how much parent and field perspective we get i yeah. like how you're like this one only tackled like two weeks so in the next you're giving yourself two books just in case robert jordan pulls <laughs> yes. like a one day yeah. book on yeah. you yeah. Okay. in case it takes a month you know yeah. so okay. okay so that's kind of what i'm thinking there okay and then we kind of discussed who's alive after the cleansing that's because <laughs> okay we don't really have a foot like we know Deshiva slash osingar was killed but we don't okay. know if it's by balefire I think probably not okay. yeah well no but then is he actually going to get brought back again a third time like well, yeah right well but but i mean it's your is it your theory like what's your theory then yeah, yeah. no i think that he's, he's done gone okay I you think, think the that shiva that is gone <laughs> I think that gone for good one okay. will be like Mm-mm, no way okay, okay. The so, Shiva's gone for good. Matt and Mogedian. the whole crew got out of- <laughs> sort of got like blown away, like a okay. like a gust of wind, like with the wind. She was like flailing she around. She was like getting sucked okay. in towards the like <laughs> the the whole thing. The- <laughs> okay, so is Mogedian still alive? Question mark. Uh, yeah. Okay. Are you still with your old theory, which is your theory was that Nynaeve... It's going to kill Mogadish. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah. That need I feel like that like needs to happen for okay. my need. So Mogadian survives and still will okay. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. Still killed right. by Nynaeve. Okay. Right. And then um the rest of them. Oh, I'm still on the fence about Samuel. Are you? Seriously? I know. Okay. All right. <laughs> it's like... What are you on the fence about? Well, if he's dead. <laughs> okay. Or if he but died by Balefire or We didn't not. technically see a body, and we didn't see Rand technically hit him with the Balefire, because okay. Rand... It could have been Mashadar, but then... Tried to kill Leah slash Laya, however you want yeah. to pronounce it, first, mm-hmm. and then tried to hit yeah. Samuel so with like, it after. So, like, is he going to... Is Samuel coming back? You know? Yeah. Okay, but okay. you're asking the question, what's your answer? What's your theory? Yes. Samuel what? is going to come back. That's think, a flip-flop. No, I think Samuel he died, but I don't think he died back. by Balefire. I okay. think he's like... He's okay, back. he's going to be, trans, he's gonna be re- transmigrated. Okay. That's right. Yeah, okay, so that'll happen. Interesting. And then Moraine is going to come back. Okay. okay. You're like, but now is it book 10? <laughs> is everyone going to be like a... 11. Okay. Okay, Moraine's going to be back by book 11. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think people would like Crossroads more. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah there's a, the, the, uh, some fan comments are affecting your uh, theory maybe 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 yeah. she comes back and she just sucks now like who uh, knows no! yeah. okay. <gasps> <I didn't> even... <laughs> <laughs> okay what else uh what other predictions you have uh, now one of the one of the questions that okay. was at the beginning was what is you were kind of suspicious about noel so what are you suspicious about like what's your theory about oh. noel Good or bad? Bad. Okay, what's the theory? Noel is a dark bad friend? Guy. Okay. Uh, bad guy or dark friend or what? Well, I think actually he might be being used by the dark side because okay. we know that he had his, like, he doesn't remember lots of things. Yeah. And 
he might be doing things not like quite oh so not like in, okay how bad he is or what he's doing not intentional um, it might be less intentional but it's just his actions are so weird and suspicious and then the fact that he like has no memories mm. but he's like super good with knives or something so is like un- weird. unintentionally being you like as in he yeah. doesn't he's not aware of it or he's just yeah. okay or maybe he you know like sleeper a, cell style yeah okay like maybe he was a dark friend and then they sort of like i have no idea i don't know what powers they have but dot so. dot dot suspicious Suspicious. don't trust (laughs) that guy does something i'm gonna be like told you so (laughs) i love it yeah good okay okay that's that uh other any other predictions for us to yeah so last big prediction okay is like so the taint is cleansed yeah okay now what so do the so the question is do the guys who are already like halfway to crazy do they just like stop Okay. At their current level of crazy, mm, mm-hmm. or is it now all wiped away? <laughs> you know, like how does this quite? What work? are the ramifications of the cleansing of? So, what is your theory about it? So my theory is we're not going to go more crazy. Okay. And I think that the because what happened before was the more you channel with you know the tainted sidine, the crazier you go, and so I think the reverse okay. will happen. So the more you channel with like the clean. Oh, Cytine okay. will like reverse crazy. It's like cleansing okay. the system. It's like a, <laughs> it's like yeah. you drink lots of water, clean up the system. Sure. Yeah. Detox. Yeah. Well, okay. and you kind of equated it to kind of like smoking where, okay, so the yes. day I stop smoking, I'm not going to get necessarily worse. And then every day that goes by. That you don't smoke. Yeah, you don't, you're, you're going to hopefully yeah. recover over time that is at least a little bit. Yeah. yeah. That's the theory. So we'll see. Okay. I like it. I like the theory. So what else? Anything else? Okay. Um, I think Elaine will be pregnant forever. I think. <laughs> forever? I think at the speed we're going Are we going never going to see the birth of children? Oh, yeah. Good question. Ooh, yeah. I think that Rand, like, isn't going to find out for, like, a long time. I don't think she's going to tell him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rand never finds out. Yeah. Oh man, okay. That would make him yeah. even crazier. He's got too much to worry about. Okay, that's fair. That's a good. Point. No, is that? Do you actually believe that that's the? Uh, is that your theory, or you just? Yeah, that's the okay. theory. I just got to make some. Matt, if she says theory. it out loud, it's a theory. Okay, okay. I can't tell if she's just kind of running down the road. I want to verify I mean, that we're I, like. I, okay. I, sometimes I say things to see what the reaction's gonna be. Yeah, <laughs> sure. But yeah, uh, I'll say it. I say it, and then I stick with it. Yeah. By the way, I mean, one of your one of your predictions was Berlaine escaped the Shido. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you did make that, and it was and correct. It's true. Yeah. She did. Yeah. Yeah. She there escaped, and then went and did a bunch of t- gross things, and I don't like her. <laughs> uh, oh, and you also predicted Elaine is going to get it on with Rand. Oh, that happened. That's, that was one of your predictions this last one. Yeah, I mean that so. was an easy one. Uh, yeah, it's about time. <laughs> sure. But like, also, yeah. did everybody else have to like be in the head? Of Rand, ugh. <laughs> no. You're going back there. You're I did back not there. predict that. Part. You're, you're regressing into the, into the, the, the good and the bad. Yeah, okay, yeah. so I love it. Those are good. Those are good. Uh, good group of got? theories there. I love it. Um, and we are down to the last category of the night here. I think, right? Yes. yes. Do you remember what this one final one is? Keep, Keep it or cut, cut it. it. Yeah. Keep it or cut for TV. Yeah, here you go. You're able to uh, – I can't remember what we – I didn't write down what we cut last time. So the Shido maybe, on bridge. <laughs> I'm sure we probably did, right? So yeah, yeah. Uh, what would you – if you had to adapt this book into the show, obviously you're not going to be able to get everything in from what we've seen so far. Certainly not. Uh, they're yeah. merging you know, books in. So – what would you? What is like the core for this to keep, and what would you be willing to cut? Shido. Shido again, again. or Shido again? <laughs> it's just like that follows is like still the Shido. Right? Yeah. Okay. But then also in the same breath, the whole Masima, Masima prophet. Yeah. Thing, like I just don't know what it adds, okay. other than that, like. There's lots of things going on in the world. But I think that the show can do a pretty good job of showing us that there's like lots of like chaos kind of happening all over the place Mm -hmm. that doesn't involve this like. It's a weird, messy 
prophet slash parent slash Shido storyline that's like all lumped together. I guess parent does still need a plot line. Not if you <laughs> kill him in the second season. No, 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 no. Then, okay. no, 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 no. <laughs> Take him off the board. Like Fayil, he can still find Fayil and like marry her and like maybe she gets kidnapped, but like, mm -hmm. I don't know if we need the prophet and I don't know if we need the Shido. Okay. okay. Clean okay. it up. Clean it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. okay. and anything you know, else you would? Anything else we'd cut for TV? Yeah, the whole Waygate um, situation. Loyal, loyal, Loyal's yeah. Journey at the moment, <laughs> which everybody forgot about until right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Loyal's on a journey, and he's supposed to be fixing the Waygates, and nobody knows about him. I think Rand even forgot about him. So. <laughs> Not fixing ceiling. No. Ceiling yes. them. Ceiling. Well, um, that whole thing. Yeah. 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 Okay. I yeah. like it. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then also the bonding. It's <laughs> just unnecessary. You'd cut the bonding. Okay. Well, I, yeah. I feel like the Alana bonding will probably happen for sure. Okay. I think I think we could do the bonding of the women with Rand, but like just differently. Mm. Again, clean it up a little bit. Maybe not all the effects that we see need to yeah. be as mm -hmm. you know but we definitely need to keep the cleansing well obviously yeah for sure <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah by the yeah. way they're definitely keeping i mean the bonding aspect of the, like them getting drunk to uh like yeah that's somewhere. what i mean like we could clean it up where it's like okay we do the bonding you know we feel the love everyone's cool and happy and then just not have the hey i can feel that and then let's drink as much love, whiskey as we can I where's the bourbon is, i don't know i love that it's uh i love that danny just hates it so much. Yeah. <laughs> i know but i guess that it's that kind of like if that if this makes sense it's that moment just like in any show where it's a thing that you're almost like come on like there, yeah. People are gonna like it's TV. People are gonna dig into that kind of stuff, right? Where yeah, yeah. If it if it kind of like makes you go like, wait a second, puts you in a human experience that you're not accustomed to. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's uh, to me like that's a TV. TV is going to yeah. want to put you in that experience because again, it's kind of that it makes you kind of, you know, uh, maybe cringe a little bit, but you're gonna keep watching because it's like something you're not accustomed to. So yeah, I get it. I do. Uh, okay. Anything else that must happen? Obviously, the cleansing has to be kept. Anything else? Oh, would, uh, we keep? okay. Number one, we have to for sure be introduced to the circus number... again. Well, no, we have to be introduced to, <laughs> like the circus has to be in it from the start, and then we need to yeah. go back to them. Okay, so you don't want to you don't want to cut the circus. I love okay. the circus. I actually, I, I really <laughs> do want to see the Matt doing what he can to free the sea folk. Oh, uh, and just like. like yeah, Damani in general. It shows Matt's character, and I think yeah. that's that would be a really big important, you know. That's what Swan said. He's like the uncle who goes back into the burning building. Yeah, exactly. Like that's that's his character. So let's let's see that. Let's see that guy, as reluctant as he is. Let's do I'm gonna, it. I'm gonna ask everybody to keep Valen Luca. Ooh, I don't know. He's got some pretty well turned calves for TV. Mm -hmm. We gotta have those calves on TV. <laughs> and it, and why is it Hugh Jackman? I know that's always in my head. It always is there. That's, that's always just... Hugh Jackman. Greatest show in. <laughs> and his, I had to look at Val and Luca's grand traveling show and magnificent display of marvels and wonders. Yes, wow. right. Fantastic. Okay. Um, uh, I, I love people's comments about the circus. I'm not a Val and Luca fan, no, but I, I just see think them. it's so funny and fun. <laughs> like Mr. James, without him, this wouldn't be the greatest show. There you go. Um, uh, okay, so uh, thank you very much for coming down again to the to the inn and talking about I your experience. I in love over. watching. I love watching everyone's comments the entire Stay time. I love long. how it, it yeah, gets we derailed. Did. We welcome, like we <laughs> no way. By the way, I did tell everyone. Taylor left everyone, but he did set this up so I can. Yay. I'm going to start a giveaway for the mug, and I'm going to explain how mug giveaways are going to work, at least when I am hosting. Uh, so <laughs> let me let me start this giveaway here. Let's see if it actually works without Taylor being here. Please don't put anything in the chat until um, until you hear that it, or until you see that it has started working. Um, we'll see. 
We'll see if this works without Taylor being here. Uh, I'm like watching this thing. It's kind of like, it's like pausing. So uh, we'll see. We don't know. But uh, I don't put a, don't, <laughs> the, it hasn't actually started, has it? Or did it show up? There we go. It did show up. Okay. I was like, don't do it yet. Oh, no. oh wait a second. It, it did start. Um, what's funny is that my page has not um, refreshed at this point. So um, that'll be interesting. I hope it's like capturing the data. <laughs> that would be good. Otherwise, yes, uh, like mm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna refresh this page and hope the old that it, uh, way. it's the old fashioned way. Yeah. I'll refresh but this you page and like a physical and... wheel. What I learned is that people love props. Yeah, that's true. Get a spinning wheel. Get a okay, wheel. it is it is collecting everybody. Thank you. Okay, Yay. so don't enter twice, everyone. Just enter once, put exclamation point raffle. And let me explain to you how this is going to work from now on. It's gonna be a little bit different. At least again, like when I'm hosting, uh, because of just some settings I have in Zazzle in my account, and when it comes to shipping and drop shipping, uh, I've realized that from now on, if you are in the U.S., um, you're winning actually a gift certificate to the store. So I will send you a gift certificate for twenty-five dollars to the store, and you can buy it to buy one mug, or depending if there's a sale, you might even be able to buy two mugs for that amount. Um, right. And uh, if you're out of the U.S., I'll try to add a little bit more to that gift certificate to give you a little bit more money to help pay for shipping uh, costs. So um, Zazzle is pretty reason. We were with Zazzle too for our like shot glasses and mugs and yeah. stuff, yeah. and like even to you know, we joined with them because yeah, even shipping to Canada is great. Yeah. So it, yeah. Th- what happened was uh, I would wait for sales to happen, and then I have to go recollect everyone's information, and then I. Uh, basically they would not do drop shipping for me any longer. I thought I could use the free shipping for drop shipping. Apparently not. Uh, So, and now I can't actually pay for shipping because I have free shipping. It's really convoluted. But that is to say, what I realized was I can just send you the money (laughs) I was going to use to get the mug on your own. And then you can pick your own mug. You don't have to wait for me in my life to get in shape for you to get your your uh, gift certificate. <laughs> so when I say you're winning a mug, you are winning a gift certificate to buy yourself a mug. And you can buy yourself a t-shirt instead. Uh, basically, it's a gift certificate on Zazzle and I'll send you the link to the store. Um, so uh, basically, uh, I'll just, all you'll have to do is reach out to me this time and just give me your email address if you win. And then I will send you that. It's a, nice. a, and so I think hopefully everyone's had a chance to enter who wanted to enter. Again, you have to be in chat to enter. And it looks like uh, tonight we have how many of you? Uh, just about 60 of you have entered. So your chances are pretty good tonight, everyone. So let me go up here again. Hope this works. Uh-huh. I'm going to uh, close entries. <laughs> <Pretty mature>. And, <laughs> uh, I'll close the entries here and pick our winner. This is always funny. When you pick the winner, it shows up in chat, but then we're like on a 20 second delay. So everyone hears us getting excited about it after they've already oh, seen it. Oh, that's funny. Uh, so okay. let's pick our winner. The winner is Farstrider. Yes, Farstrider, you have won a Dusty Wheel mug. Congratulations. Hey. Um, <laughs> you, uh, you just reach out to me. I, I, this is the weird thing. Yeah. I've been doing this for like years and now I'm like, Every time I see someone's name that win, I'm like, did you win before? Anyway, so, so like with Farstrider, I'm like, did Farstrider, did you win before? Anyways, congratulations, Farstrider. Hopefully we see you in chat that you won, like I said, a gift certificate to buy yourself a Dusty Wheel mug. That's right. Lovely, uh, lovely. Uh, you know how, hopefully, to reach out to me on Discord or on social media. Let me know. And all I need is your email address. And, I, and also, I'll want to know if you live in the U.S. or not uh, so I can make sure – to uh to get you the right gift certificate so cool Cool. congratulations everybody um and i'm glad that worked without taylor even being here that's right Ah. our our Ah. last our last poll i'll end this about a hundred of you close to a hundred of you answered this one would you keep val and luca and the circus for tv 76 percent said yes yes far there we go (laughs) so i love this far straighter congratulations Oh my OMG, I've tried for two years. Oh, Yay. Yeah. Awesome. That's so great. That's great. So well won and uh uh and and Night Runner. I haven't seen I haven't seen you that often in chat. Keep coming back like Far Strider for two years. Uh, it, it can happen. So uh that's right. Uh make sure you're back here next Wednesday, like I said. We're talking about Yes, this is what we're talking about. The wolf dream and dreaming yes. and dreamwalking. This is I like to geek out about this. I'm gonna have to do some studying. 
uh, about this topic and can't wait to have Wolf Brother and Silvertooth with us. And remember, doing a giveaway for a WatCon ticket if you want to be here. So nice. uh, please do join us. And after that, we're going to talk about a Shamael, a deep, a character deep dive, which would be awesome. Cool. So. Whew, cool. That was everything. Thank you all for being here. Uh, one last time, do you mind showing our wonderful audience that board of yours? Oh, yeah. I love this. This thing <laughs> sure. is this is amazing. Yeah, it's um, pretty good. Brett would add that high... the right prediction is on the left side. So I'll it. make it better next time. <laughs> oh, we'll do it again. Yeah. <laughs> amazing. Amazing, amazing. I love that. Yeah. So, yeah. okay, everybody. Thank you very much, yeah. uh, Danny and Brett, for being with us. If you want to, go check out their podcast. Uh, it's amazing. And you can find a link to that in the description of this video. I think they've left the link here in chat. Um, and you'll be back for Crossroads Pilot. We're going to do this all the way to the end. And we'll even do yeah. New Spring. And uh, we'll have this series forever of your journey through and kind of doing the <laughs> same thing that we do every sure. single time. So I, I love it. And uh, and you're actually going to be, are you, have you announced that? I can't remember. Yes. Okay. And they're yeah. going to be at Jordan Con. Yeah. So yeah. for those of the fans that are out there, at Jordan Con, if you're going, don't spoil Danny while you're there. That's right. Don't um, do it. Don't I'm going to get a hat that says, don't spoil me or Brett will punch you. Are we allowed to meet you in person? <laughs> Is that a thing? Can yeah. I like come and... Yeah. physically see you yeah, yeah. Kind of thing. am i allowed i'm i'm gonna be there too so yeah. uh Sounds and, good. and my wife will be there too so you'll be able to meet us you like handshake so. people or like hug people or like just like wave people so it's kind of i think you just uh i think most people just ask like hey can i give you a hug so i'm 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 a hugger so oh, if good. you would like to brett <laughs> and Danny, yeah, if you'd I'm like to right get now. a hug <laughs> i'm i'm all up for that it's so. recorded <laughs> no. and you know what's really exciting is at the end of this month we're giving away to jordan con tickets yeah oh okay so how, how do people get involved in that we don't know yet oh yeah. okay follow us on social media because <laughs> yeah. follow had, them on social media there we you had go two extra jordan con tickets and we're gonna give them away because we received media passes after we uh, cool bought the bought our own tickets so we're gonna give them away to somebody who maybe didn't get tickets to jordan con and would like to go and so follow us on social media twitter and instagram and we'll be announcing that um in the next couple of weeks actually yeah. yeah okay there we go everybody you you heard it here make sure you're following these fine people on social media yeah okay that was it everybody i appreciate you being in chat i love watching all the side conversations thank you for those of you that learned to play along or played along with us uh, no spoiler in chat it is a little bit different next week full spoilers in chat so it's not like we do it every single week and uh, you can basically talk about anything in the books when we chat about wolf dreams and Teleron Riyadh. so cool. with that being said as we say around here good night from the dusty wheel and smash to black You went right to kill it. Look at you, you're all ready. You're just done. I mean, this is like, uh, this is like really well. Um, and now I'm like, great, my turn. <laughs> and if you don't like that, um, you want to say, well, Robert Jordan could have made the two rivers all white. He could have, well, but he didn't. So, okay. I just complimented me so, on my dress, and as you can clearly see, I'm sad. I used to look at me as something along the lines of a Shadar Haran analog. Or it it does make sense why it outlasted the breaking. Yeah. <laughs> See, you know, this is why I have Therese in the show because she's going to correct everything that. Hey, everybody! I'm wrong welcome about to the Dusty Wheel we'll Show. What? Meme off challenge! Yay! Therese, like baby face mounted on like a huge body. So like, all <laughs> this is of not sudden, just like, a wow. traditional fantasy, right? There, there are sci-fi. And elements just a moment ago, kind of uh, Rafe tweeted something. So let me get my guests in here with me, and probably I would let's say get, let's put in seventy, eighty percent of the work. I got to be over the shoulder and be like, no.